every puzzle has an answer. Our jam and today it's a good jam day it's time for professor later i'm excited for uh the puzzles again <laughs> i figured out uh, what i needed to do for uh this thing to work for to get the game to work so it's working now i've tested it i think it's going well uh i'm doing great mimi how about you guys i hope you guys are doing good i'm excited for some gaming time also, I figured out another game, so there's another game we could potentially play. I just have to figure out the controls, because it's a very complex game. But I want to play it, because it's, it's, it's my boy. <laughs> Is EP an option? EP maybe. Maxwell! Hello, welcome, welcome! Thank you so much for stopping by. How's it going? Oh no. Oh no. Dedicate this opera to the memory of my daughter, Melina. Melina? Melina. 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 We have to respect the Melina. It was Melina. All is well. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm excited for more Melinas. Melina! I'm excited for the shenanigans today. Melina! Mr. Whistler! It's Melina! 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 I'm excited. Melina. I'm excited for the shenanigans today. Melina. <laughs> Melina. Melina. I just woke up fair. Melina. Very fair Melina. response. Melina. Probably tired. Melina! Slightly Melina. tired, but you know what? It's just Melina. how it is. <laughs> Melina. 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 I Melina. Melina! Oh, I gotta get up. It's just good. I'm just glad. I'm excited. I had to pause for the Melinas because it's late. You have to pause for the Melina. 
but I'm just excited. I'm really, really excited for more Layton. I, like, this is where I'm, like, starting to get to unfamiliar territory with, um, the games. It's like, I've played the first four games. I've now played some of the fifth. I don't know anything about the sixth game besides that it's a world-trotting adventure, a globe-trotting adventure. That's the term. So this is gonna be fun. I get to see what kind of shenanigans come together. Heck yeah. Oh wait, no. Actually, you know what? Good to note. New late, new late. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Speaking of weird things, um, thank you, uh, let me find it. Where am I? Where did I put it? I put it somewhere. Fuck. Fuck. Hold up, hold up. Let me find it. There it goes. Okay. I found it. Uh, thank you, Cloudy, for giving me an idea. I'm gonna do a head pat emote. So, um, we'll have that one day. Head pat emote. It will exist. For praise. <laughs> Head pat emotes, hooray, we'll be head patting, you know. A question is, do we want to head pat me or head pat the blips? The, uh, the little bugaboos that you guys are. Do we want that one or the you know is the question. Head patting you know, well, I see what one wants to go for. But do you want to head pat each other? Head pat the blips? Head pat my fan base? Because I might do that. Because I think it'd be very cute. <laughs> head pat my fan base. That'd be adorable. I bet my little community. Who knows? Uh, that'll be an idea. But I'll have that in mind. I'll have that in mind for the future. So uh, we'll keep it together. But I'm excited for. Can we give the fan base a gun? You know that'd be very funny. I might do <laughs> that. Actually, be very funny. I'm gonna put that down. <laughs> oh, that would be very very funny. Oh, I kind of would love that. Just gone. <laughs> Little blip with the glock. <laughs> just staring down in shame. And it's not even. <laughs> See, I need to make this like a full illustration in my brain because it isn't just the blips. It's that someone's holding the gun for the blips and they're staring down and shaming at you and they say, pull the trigger. Dead. <laughs> That's my brain. That's where my brain is going, but you know what? I kind of love it. <laughs> maybe one day, well, maybe one day I'll put that together. I'll have the regular emote, but then I'll just make it a full illustration. And it's like, pull the trigger, bang, and I'm just dead. <laughs> I have an idea for that. I think it'd be very funny. But besides that, it's always about the money, little viewer. Exactly. It's not always about the money, but it's always about the shenanigans, baby. Sorry, sorry. No, it's not about the shenanigans. It's about the bets, baby. Let's go, bets. All the way, bets. Let's go for the bets. <laughs> I'm having fun today. But I think it's pretty good. Um, it's all about the bets, baby. Let's go, bets. <laughs> so I think we can go for um, our next aspect. So I'll pull this up. We'll go up and I'll show, like, what we got. Here we go. Hit a home run, baby. It's the Layton game, baby! Look at it! It's so good. I'm excited. I'm excited. And the fun thing is... I can control the volume! Thank God! So it can be... That. Or it could be this. Something like... When a miracle is masked. Oh my goodness. So then it's a... It, it, it's a masked miracle. Oh my goodness. How the turds have tabled. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be... I'm excited. I'm, excuse me, I'm over here. I gotta move my glass, but I'm excited. Miracle is one of my favorites. I've heard it's really, really good. So I'm excited. I know this is also the one that goes for, like, the 3D model, so... Maybe lower the sound a bit. It's too loud. Fair. This is the lowest it can go. But I think around here is... Good. I could also just need- I need to do this too. There we go. I think this is good. I think this is a good volume. It kind of works. It's okay. We better hell yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So that's good. Oh, excuse me. I'm- I've eaten food and it's a little bit weird. 
Oh, we got that together. Thank goodness. Um, oh, actually, let me adjust a couple of things before. I'm kind of realizing something doesn't look exactly right, and that's... Like, nothing wrong with it. I just want to fix it. Um... There we go. Cool. Okay, that's kind of fixed. So we have the two... We've got my little setup, and then we got this one for, like, the main puzzle screen. I'm gonna be switching a lot more. <laughs> this song goes way harder than than me eating a toddler into the stratosphere after losing a Mario Party game. See, no, I actually understand that because playing Mario Party is a bit of a trip, but let's go. New game. It's-a me. Nah, I'd eat. True. This is a work of fiction. The groups- <laughs> Yeah, I can't read. The characters groups portrayed in this have no connection. <gasps> it's a parade! Wow! So this is Montador! Indeed. In only 18 years, this little desert oasis has grown into quite a tourist attraction. Amazing! Don't you think? Yes, it <gasps> is. Some people <laughs> even so fast. call it the city of This game miracles. is based on a true story. No. The no, there's no miracles. connection. The game would lie. There's no connection. Right? Right? Right, guys? The miracle of Montedor. Monte Montedor is well known because it started out as an oasis with one small inn and expanded to a large and prosperous city in just the space of 18 years. <laughs> My poofy boy is back. He's back. <laughs> How could, how could such a city develop so fast? Monte Dor is quite impressive, especially considering that Henry built it from nothing. Well, Leighton knows some shit, sir. The Dark Parade. Heck yeah, let's go. Oh god, the 3D There's bottle. So much to look at here, Professor. <laughs> yes. I've heard that oh Montedor is quite an exciting town. Jesus Christ. The letter you received said some terrible things happened here. That's hard to believe. <laughs> hmm. Oh no, they made him three-dimensional. We'll have a better understanding of the situation after we speak to it's Angela. It's so weird. Like, their you motion captured. It feels state. like it. Just past the they feel so motion captured, and it's so weird. The city is like one big amusement park. God, this is so weird. What the hell? <laughs> what fuck? <laughs> you 3DS loop. <laughs> like, like Layton looks kind of fine, but they tried something weird with Luke. I, I get it, but okay. It certainly is a lively town. Lane is in pain. I mean, look, what's with his wrist? I'm Jesus, the end. Goodness gracious. This was the time. What? I need to see what this released again. Hold up. How could anything bad happen in a place so bright and colorful, Professor? Professor? Who heard you? I don't know. Who knows? Never judge a book by its cover. It might be because I've engaged too much with these games, but it's not the worst to me. It's not bad, it's just jarring. Like, it's very jarring. Oop, come back. Like, it's very jarring when you see 2D sprites and then just 3D immediately. It's like, oh. Like, they're decent, it's just weird. <laughs> it's weird for me, but I'm gonna get used to it because I'm used to this kind of stuff. Only a thorough analysis will reveal a thorough conclusion. Yokai certainly did this better. Yes, Yo Yokai Watch did this way better. <laughs> Yokai Watch knew what it was doing. Right as usual, Professor. Let's let the investigation commence. I admire that spirit, Luke. But Montedor is a unique town. Before we begin, we'll need to take a moment to examine our methods. Come all years, Professor. Very good. To search an area, just tap the investigation icon. Yabba yabba doobada. But I show you the Inazuma Lane team? Oh god, there's... What? Oh, Inazuma or Inazuma? My brain was like reading that weird. 
Oh, we use a magnifying glass. Okay. Turns orange, it means found a spot of interest. Okay. Okay, so it's like more player friendly. Okay, so tap the investigation icon, slide it across the test screen, and investigate shit. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, that's... Well, this is interesting. This is... Oh, <laughs> oh dear God! Oh, hello! <laughs> Professor, uh, or th do the balloons have him? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to seal the way for eternity, I suppose. It does look a bit tied up at the moment. Perhaps we could offer some assistance. We <laughs> float in! That's actually very cute. Come to the circus! Found animals! Hot the butt! <laughs> Yo, I'm <laughs> Can we be of some help, sir? Oh, don't bite me! I just... <clears throat> I just need to release these balloons into the air for the... The children! You know, for the kids! <laughs> I'm stuck! <laughs> My guy! I love this man! If I don't get these balloons in the air, I'll never earn my clown nose! Oh, oh where are my nares? I... I'm stumble! <laughs> I see. Forgive me for not shaking your hand! Don't think of me rude! Perhaps you could help me if you're not in too much of a hurry! <laughs> Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. What the fuck? I might switch between these back and forth so that way we can see, because I think this is visible. This clumsy clown has gotten caught up with in his balloon strings. Give Luke and Leighton a hand and untangle them. Okay. Rearrange with the orange points. Alright. As you swap panels, the strings will become tangled, become even more tangled. Straighten out the four strings. Alright. Um, okay. That does not thing. Okay. Okay, a little bit looser. Nope. There. Nope. Getting more loose, so... Actually, let's restart it, because my brain's thinking. Immediate! <laughs> that was quick, okay. And take his clown notes. See, I can't do that. He has a job and a wife and kids. It's sad. Oh, no, don't do that. Okay, that's more loose. If I do that. No. Ooh, closer. Okay. That's so close. What the heck? Why are you so close? Okay. It's like this section. I need to figure out. It's like right there! <laughs> Bruh. Bro, why are you right there? There's the message, Jesus. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's just getting sadder. Okay, let's do this immediately, because it's one. It's not always about the no clown no Spider-Man. Always never is. Um, it's getting tighter. Looser. Okay, it's a bit more loose. That does nothing, so that's strange to me. Keep going! Oh, nice! Hey, there we go! He's free! I believe I have this oh. one. Ha! <laughs> Layton knows an intense voice! Solving puzzles is truly Sir. a pleasure. Jesus Christ! He, he would smack! <laughs> Okay. Nice work, you freed the balloons! And stumbled too! <laughs> now the balloons can be released into the sky. Sky high into 
the sky. <laughs> Lightning jump scare PowerPoint transition. Exactly. Just PowerPoint transition, baby. Pickerettes. We all know Pickerettes. Woo! What a relief. Thanks. For, thank you for that. No need to thank us, Stumble. Helping someone in need is its own reward. It sounds like you just got into town. Well, I hope you enjoy your time in Monte Dor. Just be sure to always stay on your toes. It's all about the PowerPoint transitions, baby. It always is. Hell yeah. Oh, just a video. Oh. Professor, look at that cloud. Jesus. And all the balloons. <laughs> and the band. That's terrifying. Wow. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute little title transition. This is fantastic! Everyone is having such a good time, Professor! They are. And I'm looking forward to doing the same after our investigation. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. The investigation. Oh. Once we're able to relax, we'll see <laughs> what Luke the Luke was so depressed. Offer. He was like, oh, okay. <gasps> Professor, what was that? <laughs> Look with a voting mid speech. Indeed. Oh, everyone's just bolting. Stone. It's like a <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> oh, everyone's just bolting. <laughs> Medusa situation here. Oh God! Hey, I'm trying to escape here. Get out of the way, will you? Yuckle. <laughs> okay. Please, sir, try to remain calm. Calm? Are you blind? Those people have been turned to stone. I... How is that possible? A very good question, Luke. Yes. Who, who is Medusa? There. Be there or be square and bro didn't show up. Nope. What on earth? He did not. One, two, three, four. Did you miss me, Montador? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome! Huh? I hope you enjoyed tonight's dark miracle. Courtesy of the masked gentleman. Consider what you have seen tonight as a warning. Monte Dor will soon be destroyed. <laughs> Let's go, he's here. Oh, people are excited for this, dude. Oh, boy. Spared. But then again, they may not. Oh, the masked gentleman is the best. Oh, goodness. I mean, he's very, he seems very charismatic, and I kind of love it. Professor, Zephyr no. has evolved, he did. What are you waiting for? A written invitation? Where the fuck did you come from, girl? Of course. Where did you come from? She Wait. disappeared! Professor! Ma'am! Uh, oh! Mine has something wrong with it! No, don't say that! Uh, 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 He's a good little baby! Let's go! Everyone follow me! Right! Hey, Look! Play? It's catching up! <laughs> the little baby! Don't be mean to the little yeah. baby! Look at him! <laughs> Look at him! He's keeping up! Come on! Oh, okay! <laughs> Alright! Follow the masked gentleman, alright! Chase down the masked gentleman as he flies through town. Use this- Oh, I have to do quick motion to move slight right or left and avoid the barrels. Pick up carrots to give your horse a piece of speed. Okay. Follow the masked gentleman. Oh, like this. Okay. That's weird. Oh, wrong way. Where is he going? Where is he going? I don't know. Help me figure that out.
Okay. That's the way. E, let's go. This is so weird. The music is very cute, though. I like it. That's the way. Yeah. Here we go. Music goes hard and does. Yes. Wow. Oh no! Dodge that That's bit. That's the way. Woo. My butt. I was gonna get hit the barrels, but no. This is such a yeah. cool Here little. Go. Oh dang it! Oh, he even does little flourishes yeah. too. The little Almost. cheeky man. He's such a cheeky little gentleman. <laughs> the fact that he's called the bass gentleman too, it's very funny. Yeah. Whoa! Like, that's very funny. That's the way. Oh, are we good? Oh, you need this a little bow. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> I like how he flies. It's just, I fly. Goodbye. <laughs> Off he goes. See? Look, he keeps up. The little guy's keeping up really well. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him go. Look out. Oh, oh, wait, Luke, go, go, go! I almost got him, Professor! Oh. There he goes. Whoa! Look at the little guy! He already can't see, so he ran through it! See? Can we keep him as a pet? I want the horse. He got away! I want the horse. Can I keep him, please? He was very cute. I would get I would give him the best greens. He'll get the best food. I'll make sure he has a place to sleep. Can I have him? Yes. He had quite an advantage <laughs> over us. I suppose we can assume that was the masked gentleman. I would I I said so, so I hope. Was he using some sort of magic professor? How did he do all that? I mean it seemed like it. Considering Luke, he was wearing I can the top honestly hat. Say. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Oh, I like these cards. The petrification incident. A number of people were turned to stone during the parade in Carnival Square. Some of the members of the crowd claimed to have witnessed the petrification as it occurred. Was it really some sort of miraculous act? The crowds deserted Carnival Square, leaving stone statues behind. There must have been living people only moments before. Borse. We like the Borse. Ooh! Magic seemed to be the only thing that could explain what we had seen. The yard is fucking great here. I always loved the Professor Layton art, but dang, they're like hitting it. It disturbed me to see the Professor at such a loss. It made me wish he never received that strange letter in the first place. Ooh, time travel. Let's go. Let's go back in time. We're gonna go back in time. I go with Professor. Ba -ba -boom. I like this guy's design a lot, so it's really interesting to see him. Like, put together. It's weird. Professor, do you know someone named Angela Lador? Angela? Yes, of course. Where did you hear that name? Ooh. It was on the letter. A it's letter? Me. Let me, Professor. But Luke, that's not your mail. Luke! Luke, you're gonna come in and cry! No, Luke! Luke! Please! Angela, after all these years... Luke, no, you're gonna commit a felony! Yeah. Okay, he Thank just... He much, didn't read Luke. it, okay? Thank God. But Luke, you could've committed a crime! Very strange. Sir! Jesus. What is it, Professor? Professor? <laughs> The Mask of Chaos. Okay, so she can read it now. She's not committing a crime. <laughs> Dearest Herschel. Ooh. I trust this letter <laughs> finds you well. <clears throat> I have read wonderful things about I your did, work, did, Herschel. Did. Or rather, Professor Layton. It's difficult to believe it has been nearly 18 years. Oof. 
I'm sure this letter comes as quite a surprise, but I must ask for your help. We have experienced a series of terrifying incidents here in Monte Dor. I must be cursed by the Mask of Chaos, for it is now threatening to destroy our city. Ooh. I hope you can forgive me after all these years. I don't know who else I can turn to. I cannot give you the full details now. However, if you can spare the time, I shall tell you all upon your arrival. Mm-hmm. We are in desperate need of your Dang, help. Dang, the person. music's just going hard. I've enclosed the address for the Lador Estate. Music's like, let's go, baby. I hope to see you soon, Angela Lador. Dang, they just they just going hard. Like, all right. The Mask of Chaos. What is that? Donald Rutledge wrote about it in his book Ancient Histories. According to legend. The mask bestows great power upon whoever wears it. So... Persona, then. Persona 5? Yes. Question mark? The allure of omnipotence is as old as... His name is Herschel Layton? Yes, that's his you real name. You know quite a bit about the mask, Emmy. They 3D'd the dam as well. Okay, Emmy doesn't look as bad. I think Emmy is really good in transition. It's like her hair is kind of weird, but... She looks good. I think Emmy looks well, fine. I have taken a few courses here and there. I see. Emmy looks good. I think she looks good in this. Probably because she doesn't have as much time within the 2D space. So she transitions easier to 3D. To me. Did I leave something out, Professor? No, no. You're absolutely correct. So this mask of chaos is well known in the world of archaeology? I, I would hope. Oh, yes. Among researchers, uh, well, that, it's okay. quite a popular topic. That's weird in that delivery. So, what would it mean to be cursed by the Mask of Chaos? <laughs> among us, among, among the world. It's difficult to say. Angela certainly wasn't very forthcoming in her letter. Well, no. She, she said she couldn't give the details, so... What is your relationship with Angela, <gasps> Professor? Is she one of Professor Bruh, come on. loves? No, no, his heart belongs to one person. He's still waiting. Hardly. And this time. I've known Angela since my school days. <laughs> Our relationship was complicated. The entirety of this conversation. Is Angela someone you loved? No. <laughs> well, I love how blatantly request he's married to Puzzles, friend. correct? Right, Puzzles Professor? are his first and only love. <laughs> And archaeology. Archaeology is a second love, which is why he's a, he has a degree in it. Why, yes, Luke. I suppose you're correct there. <laughs> in the letter, she refers to a series of terrifying incidents. What do you think she means by that, Professor? Who knows? We must go find her and ask her them. I can't say for certain, but I know how we can find out. Let's go meet this Angela, please. Please? Oh, God, that's a really cool design for a mask. It's said that the Mask of Chaos grants magical powers to whoever wears it. Could this power be, be behind the Masked Gentleman's Acts? A series of terrifying incidents. Ha <laughs> ha! Just grin. The Mask of Chaos is an extremely popular topic, topic in the archaeological world. <laughs> hey there, dear viewer. If you enjoy Yuno's content, be sure to destroy that like button and press the little button that says subscribe. If you don't, you'll become Luke in 3D. Look at him. His head is masking itself over and over again with his neck. <laughs> How are these people turned into stone? This must have been what a Miss Angela was referring to in her letter. Okay, it's kind of slowing down for some reason. I don't know why, but it just is. That's kind of weird. Um, is there anything else I can close to make it easier on the game? I don't know. I think I'll be fine. I'll just probably catch up in a bit. Probably because there's three models and it's like, ugh, help me. Yes, we need to find out how long this has been happening for. Did you discover anything of note, Emmy? Yes, according to the witnesses I spoke with, the masked gentleman had first appeared about a month ago. Since then, he has created several disturbances throughout the town with these dark miracles of his. What reason could he have for doing such awful things to these people? Have you heard of 
anything about the police? Have they procured any leads? Apparently they have a few, but it sounds like they're still clueless about the identity of the masked gentleman. Word is that their investigation is at a standstill. The police have no suspect, no motive, and no explanation. I see. Very well. I'd like to take a little closer look at the scene be here before we move on. The police are also clown. I, d I would s assume. This is such a weird thing to go for. Like, this... Hello. Professor, these people... How could this have happened? You know who else is a clown? <laughs> the three kids, you know, help me. <laughs> yes, it's dying. It's dying. They don't have to animate these people anymore. They don't, but they're still moving. That's kind of cool. Those statues. That could have been us. Let me take a few photos for evidence. Oh, look at her go. Look at her take photos. It's difficult to say what we may encounter here. Let's be sure to keep our eyes and ears open. <laughs> Layton's face. They still animate some people in the background. I think it's cool, but the stones are like I, I, no more people to deal with. Oh, someone's crying! Oh dear. Uh oh. What? Oh. <laughs> Wait, sir. Sure. Gonna lurk for a bit. It's all good. Don't worry about. Uh. Sir, are you? You statue. What? Wait, you guys see this guy, right? <laughs> okay, so we've got a couple options. Okay, no, there's just people crying. Alright, just gang. Ah, once again, Destiny makes us cling like a sweaty shirt to his bare skin on a hot carnival night. What? Okay. okay. <laughs> Metaphor I don't want to go into. Welcome to Monte Tour, my friends! This is a 100% Josuke in his 40s. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm gonna have a fucking breakdown, breakdown! <laughs> yes, thank you. I believe we've met before. You are oldest, correct? The one and only! Happy to see you looking so robust. Are you on holiday as well? How oddly sublime that we would meet here. They made his hair very jiggly. Watch his hair jiggle. His hair is jiggly! It's very poofy! I love the- Yes, he squishes it too! I love that! I was just watching the parade with a heart full of joy and a mouth full of laughs when I nearly- was nearly turned into a stone! Look at it! It bounces! It's kinda cute! Enough of this I- I- Not this idle geological chatter. Perhaps I will share with you a spe something special about Montador. We would appreciate any information if you could share with us. You see, I prepared a wooden box of the area. You should search the area with your stylus. Search! Now! Search! Okay. I, I, I suppose. Set. I don't see any wooden boxes. My young boy, please! Take a breath that is deep. And much and think much of relaxing candy. Of course you did not find my box. Interesting there was an action sequence earlier. Haven't seen those in Layton personally. Honestly, yeah, having an action sequence first is kind of funny. But I think that's like, hey, there's gonna be stuff going on in this game. It's not just puzzles. It's action! And they probably were like, oh my goodness, you can put this on the box art, baby. Look at him, he's on a horse! <laughs> he's running on a horse! I believe I can! See, before you could only investigate, but now you may zoom! Zoom? What do you mean by that? As you search with the magnifying glass, let it flash with a blue light! That, my friends, is a zoom point! When you find a zoom point, tap the touch screen just as you would with any point of interest. Do not let me down. Zoom! I knew it. Zoom! Wow, a hidden box! You have filled my heart with much pride, my little friend! See, in this way, you can look for many sorts of hidden items. This is good. Let me take a note of it. 
go! It is the old saying goes, a box is found, but not search is a box is a box not found. What? Okay. I what? Aldous, are you okay? No, he's not. Aha! Hint coin! If you find a puzzle you cannot solve and you need a hint, they shall become your best friends. But where there are a limited number of hint coins in Montador. Use them widely or expect the tears to be to cheeks. <laughs> This guy's fucking weird. <laughs> Hint coins are fucking <laughs> god. Oh, I can't speak. Goodness gracious. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, this is great. Dude, there he goes, goodbye! <laughs> He's a bit of a strange gentleman, isn't he? Perhaps he is, Luke. Perhaps he is. Well, he gave us some good information, regardless. Zooming? We can certainly help with our investigation. I suppose. Is there anything else I can grab here? Anything else? I kind of like that this, there's this feature here, so it's cool. We get to see this new stuff. Seem petrified indeed. Aha! Hint coin. At least now it tells you, hey, you don't have to like go around the entirety of the area. Just going bong 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 bong. Like constantly hitting it and just like seeing. Are you are you do you, are you hint? Are you hint? Yes, no, maybe so. Are you hint? Yes, no. Are you a hint? Professor, let's head over to that tent. Maybe we'll find something there. That may not be a bad idea, Luke. The whole investigation of this town is going to be quite a task. Well, we better get started straight away. Absolutely, Luke. Let's quickly let's just quickly establish how to explore the city. Okay, we movement. Yes, 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 thank you. Sure, sure, sure. Quite simple, I would say. Let me move, please. Ooh, okay, now you slow it down because I think you're preparing for the next area. Oh god. Oh god, that was weird. Oh, Professor! How should we go about keeping a record of our investigation? Let's save... Let's save y'all we've already saved, but let's save twice now. It lets you do all the puzzles too. And, all the, and episodes. Episodes? What are the episodes? What? <laughs> what other content is there? Hey, Professor. I already feel like a better apprentice already. Luke, we only listen to the Professor's explanation. You still need to master the art of actually using the trunk. Bruh. Uh, bruh. It's a trunk. You just opened the trunk. Eddie. Ma'am. <laughs> You just opened the trunk! There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it! Like, come on! It's a trunk! Okay! Jeez! Emmy! Stop being mean to my boy Luke! Stop it! Leave him be! Haha, <laughs> money! But, man! Emmy can be kind of sassy! I forgot how sassy she could be! Like, is it funny? Absolutely. But other times, it's like, girl. Like, chill. This parade float is much bigger than it seemed earlier. It doesn't look like it will be floating again anytime soon. It must have deflated at some point with all the commotion. Do you hear that? This 
from crying. I hear it now too. It's coming from the float. Wait, it's not the clown that's crying, is it? I certainly hope not, Luke. That would be a cause for concern. Let's take a closer look at the float. I would suspect. No, there's a baby. There's a baby. There's a tiny child. Crying. Can I look at anything else? Hello. I speak to you now. Are you alright, little girl? It's a girl who is crying. Whew. Thank, go thank goodness, Luke! Thank goodness yourself, so <laughs> Oh! Oh, I like her, she's sassy! Well, she doesn't be appear to be too broken up. What's the matter, dear? I like this girl. I, I don't... I can't... Use your words, sweetie. We can't understand you if you keep crying. I think she might be lost out of me. Let's help this little one find her way. Leave it to me, Professor. Hey, kiddo, are you lost? Where are your parents? Who are you calling, kiddo? I want my mommy! <laughs> <laughs> I like how snarky she is and she goes back to being a brat. Where's mother? My mommy has red hair and a pink purse with a bear on it. Red hair, okay. The women below are saying this. Look how stylish everyone is, so it's not you. Hold on, this isn't my purse. I'm actually a man. Very stylish man. My purse is the blue one. This isn't my bag, it has the wrong pattern. Okay. So we've got, um, it's not you. We can, oh, let me transition over here, here we go. It's not this one. It's not this one. We know that for a fact. <gasps> oh my god, you can... Oh, that's cool. Wait a minute. Oh, that's cool. That's rad as heck that you can do that. And it shows the text, too. Okay. Let me pull this up for me, too. So, uh, hold on. This is my purse. My purse is the blue one. So then, it's not you. So... This isn't my bag, it's the wrong pattern. So, you have the wrong pattern. The miracle of technology, the miracle of the 3DS, baby! Look at us, in the future. So then, it's not A, C, or D, which means, since the bag is the wrong pattern, it's the right color, and this is not the right purse, so it is, uh, come here. Oh, it's like this. Okay, that's weird. You. It's you. Let me have a shot. Two, three. PowerPoint terror. <laughs> I got it. No it's just problem. PowerPoint terror, baby. Let's go. I terrify my stream. It's in the bag. The correct answer is B. Thank goodness the little girl found her mother. I like her hat. You found her. Thanks, Shorty. There you are, Cookie. You had me worried sick. Thank you, young man. Just doing my duty as a gentleman. <laughs> gentleman? That's rich. I mean, thank you for helping me, kind sir. You're my hero. <laughs> she called me a hero. I like <laughs> Luke. Oh, Luke. Ooh, I think she likes you, Luke. I'm inclined to agree, Abby. This and their babies. It was nothing. Any hero would have done the same. My baby boy just wants validation. Indeed. Well, now let's make our way to the Lador Estate. It should be up the road. Just up the road here. Okay. I'm gonna do one thing first because. Um. It should be somewhere around here. I think. Got that one. Got that one. Where's the third? I would assume it's in the zoomed area, so. 
I'm gonna go back to the assumed area. She's no longer there. Go. This is so. This is so cool how they kind of like did this, cause this moves differently, and I kind of like it. Curse is Luke. Honestly, I mean, it 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 is a curse. It's, it's considered a curse by everyone else. Here is the third one. Where's the third one? Hello? I know zoom out. Alright, fine, we'll go here, Jesus Christ. Dang. There's a policeman over there. Perhaps we should see if he has anything if he's seen anything strange. Good idea, Luke. Let's see if he can help. Can you help, Mr. Officer? But first, I wish to grab some monies. Hey, hey, money. Monies? Monies? Whoa, you tall. That's a tall building. What? This place is weird. Like, you've got these kind of oldish buildings and then these huge ass skyscraper. Like, look at that skyscraper compared to this building. I'm guessing this is like... This is like the party district of sorts. Like, um, what's the term? The recreational district? And then you just have skyscraper in the air. And you're like, okay. Just in the sky. Love that. We have reports of another sighting of the masked gentleman. Do you know anything about this? Actually, we were going to ask you the same thing. We pursued the masked gentleman earlier, but he escaped. So I'm already too late. Curses! I'm always too late! Always! Double curses! We do everything in our power, and yet he continues to elude our grasp. What is he doing? Nice weather today, eh? <laughs> I investigated the area. Ooh, is that correct? Yeah, it is correct, okay. The incident at the museum that came up empty there. Yes, I heard something about some of the paintings coming to life. Ooh. What is this? I'm sorry, Professor. In all of the chaos, I forgot to mention what I heard about the very, this very strange incident. People jumped right out of the paintings on display. Sure had us in a pickle. Still does. Still does. Mm, pickles. <laughs> I like this guy a lot. <laughs> Removed every last painting, just be safe. No problems with the art there since. So that's why the museum is closed? Well, it doesn't make much sense to keep an empty museum open, does it? Shame. It's located right in the heart of town. I'm a bit surprised that a city as new as Montador would have a museum. I can't imagine transporting that transporting valuable pieces of art all the way out here is an easy task. I bet the culprit of Stumbles, you know, Stumbles is very, very suspicious. We found him tied up in his own balloons. He was trying to lure us away as a distraction, so that way when he transformed into the masked gentleman, we wouldn't notice. You definitely learn to appreciate art when you're out in the middle of nowhere. Yes, I wonder why the masked gentleman chose to appear somewhere so remote. Right here, and with that mask. Let's continue onward to the Lador Estate, Professor. I believe we take a right here at the crossroads. But the policeman! The policeman! Okay, I kinda like the- uh... Guys, he's on to us! He's on to us! Shoot! He's on to us! Guys! Guys, he's on to us! Help! Help! Run! Please! More busy work, tell Stumble to put up the posters. They're so lucky I don't have anything better to do with my time. Oh, e excuse me? Someday I'll have actual stuff to do now. <laughs> don't sneak up on me like that. Please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. I'll help you pick those pick up your posters. Oh, no, it's fine. They're all strewn about everywhere. I'll just pick them all up and... Oh, my. The poses are all mixed up now. I was putting in replacements and need to match the originals exactly. 
Some of the posters are different from one another. Perhaps I could use your help. Temple's on to us, guys. We're, he's on to us. Shoot. Oh, what the heck? Stumble was putting a post in the plaza one evening when he seemed a terrible fright. Oh dear. Rotate the poster on the top screen by sliding across the scroll bar on the, bo the touch screen. If you move the hand icons. Okay. So it's like... Oh! Oh, that's weird. I don't like that. Be slow. Okay, so let's start with... Um, we'll start with this. We'll start with this first, because it's two balloons, a witch hat. Okay, so I can see them up close. Let's start with this one. So we've got the witch hat. Wait, 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 too fast. Okay, we got the witch hat. We got two balloons. We got a flag with a pole. We can, let's go this way. Whoop. We got four balloons. Wait, no. It's not you. Because you don't match. You match. Okay, so you're kind of matching. We got four balloons in the back. Um, We've got... Guy with a flat hat on the front on a ball with one flag. Wait. This way. No, stop. Okay, so then Doggo with four legs with a straight tail and a little bell at the front. Three balloons, top hat, holding the leash. Or is that a don- it might be a donkey, but I'm gonna call it a Doggo. And he's shouting into the sky. And then balloon, and then that looks accurate. I would say that's pretty accurate. Let me look at this guy again. Flat top. The wheels are correct. Is there anything else that could be missing? I don't see anything wrong with it, so it might be you, but we'll look. Oh, wait, 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 One, two, one, two, three. Let me check something. You got the foot out. Uh, okay, so. You match, you match, you match. You got the three balloons. Oh, it's not you because you have a top hat. So it is a bee. Ha ha! It's done. Ha ha! Baby, let's go! All in a day's work. Nice. Correct answer is B. The tail is different and the trumpeteer is a different hat. Exactly. Look at me, I have the brain. Wow, you're all really smart. Thank you. You should come to our circus sometime. We have a great show with animals jumping through flaming hoops and everything. Oh my, that sounds fun. We don't turn our animals into stone or anything, but uh, however, it's very exciting. It's odd. Even with these strange incidents happening around town, our circus is more popular than ever. Huh. That's a weird bit of info. Can we go to the circus, Professor? <laughs> that would be a splendid way to treat ourselves once we solve this case. Of course. That's what I meant. <laughs> oh, Luke was, like, excited. He was like, oh boy. But cool. He's like, I want to do cool things, and he's like, oh, dang it. Anything else with this guy? So glad to see fo you folks weren't turned to stone. Makes less for us to clean up. We're good at the cleaning up part, no problem. Please be careful, officer. Remember, these statues were once people like you and me. Well, that's depressing. Dang. Ah, I found the third one. I think that's good. I don't think there's anything else. We'll check, though. Anything else of interest? I kind of like this style of investigation now because at least it, like, tells you what you should and should not click. Oh my goodness! The door estate should be down the street. Just past this quaint shop here. 
It's so nice to finally see a peaceful area in this town. I ain't stopping. Look at this man. Look at this schnaz. Look at him. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Hun. Hun, are you okay? <laughs> Hun. What the? I... I'm concerned, sir! Hun! You okay? Oh dear goodness. I got bears, I got trucks, dolls, robots, everything. You want it? Got, got it. Oh wow. Those toys are so cute. What would you say is your favorite, Luke? I... I guess the bear is kind of nice. If I were still into that kind of thing. I knew you'd like the cuddly one. I like that robot myself. Excuse me, sir? I got dollhouses, little tea sets, it's all very g g uh, uh. What? Is there something in my teeth? Oh god, no! <laughs> A goddess! A goddess fell from the sky and landed outside of our shop! Where? <laughs> I have been saving this puzzle for a woman with chestnut hair and acorn face. Please take a look. That's very specific. Okay. Oh god, unfortunately it's unclear which order they assemble, so... You can rotate the parts and move them as you wish. Alright. Let's just throw them in... base. Body, legs, head, arms. Okay. The body is first, so then you go first. Um. This is the order, so let's watch it and see what happens. So legs are right, body's right, arms are weird. Okay. So it's entering like this. You need to be turned like this. One, two, three. Ah! Wait a minute, what you mean? Oh, the body's upside down. I was like, what you mean? I got it! No, I didn't. I thought I did, but I didn't. There we go. I thought I had it right. Here we go. Two, three. Four. There we go. Please allow me. Three, four. Ooh, that was easy. That was kind of An easy. An assistant can solve a puzzle or two. And the robot's, robot's fully assembled and ready to be played with. Look at it go. Stunning brain zed match the beauty. I would never insult the goddess by charging for my wares. Allow me to offer this robot as, to you as a gift. Please, take him on your adventures. He is a brave one, he is humble, loyal, and a bit of a romantic as well. I will not take no for an answer! Uh, wow, I'm speechless. Thank you. Well, we have just a stalker robot in our bag now, Jesus Christ. Okay. Guy gave you a toy robot. Robot has been added to the professor's trunk. Guide the robot to the goal at the end of each level. I realize you must go. Just know that whenever the stone skips across the pond, you shall always ripple through my heart. <laughs> well, uh, this was weird, but sweet. Thanks for the robot. Of course. If you return, please grace my shop with your presence. I am just a servant of your masterful beauty. Well, we found... Sorry to be rude, but we found Mimi, so... Oh, puzzle, okay. Whoever designed this toy car was no amateur. It's beautifully handcrafted. Play cars are alright. <laughs> I never thought how insane some of the insane people designs would translate to 3D. That guy had muscles and then toy arms, and it was very funny. Because it was just arms. He had no clothes on his top besides his tank top. Like, bruh. Oh, whoa.
A group of friends is... <laughs> Jesus. The person who took this photo was driving a white bumper car while facing forward. Who was... Where was she sitting? Okay, so she's driving a white bumper car facing forward. So let's... Just... Not this one, because this is a red car. This is, might be one of them. It's not you, because you're not facing forward. Can't be you, because the blue is in the way. Can't be you, because you're not close enough. And no, you don't face any of these. i never seen bumper cars with actual wheeled cars. Exactly. I'm used to them being, like, like on the stick. On the stick with, like, the ceiling on top. It has to be this one, because... Yeah, it has to be that one. How's this for an answer? Three, four. I did it, Professor. Correct. It's the bumper car circled above. Not bad. Not a bad photo, eh? Now decide where to go on the wall. Well done. Your, your puzzle skills just need just need a spark to ignite them. As a professor's apprentice, I vow to never avoid an overcoming challenge. I'm glad to have such driven peers. Layton being kind of sassy. Sassy Layton over here. I have money. This makes it so much easier to find money because it's just going over with the magnifying glass and being like, money? Money? Come on. Oh, it's until morning. Money, obviously. Is there any other monies? There's always three, but it's like weird. Hey, hey, hello, 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 Mimi. It's, hi, Mimi. How you doing? <laughs> oh, okay, so now it's replaced. Cool. I like the music playing acting like he doesn't do a puzzle when he sees a cat. I mean, yeah, he's like... <laughs> Blayton's like, Luke, have you heard of this puzzle? And he's staring at a bucket, and you're like... Professor? It's much calmer here in the residential district. I can actually hear my ears... You hear my ears ringing now. Oh. Yes, Montador's main district is lively, but I doubt many people actually live there. Nobody lives in the main district. Where does everyone sleep? With all the attractions, I don't know how often people are actually sleeping. Oh my god! <laughs> Hold it right there, you! What you sneaking around here for? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh dear goodness gracious, look at him! <laughs> We're headed to Angela Lador's estate. Could you be kind enough to point us in the right direction? I could. I could also be kind enough to see that you address Mrs. Lador with a bit more respect you here, top hat. Ooh. What kind of trouble you hiding under that chimney on top of your head there, eh? A mask, maybe? Ooh, wait, so this guy is like... Not just a gangster, but he's protective. Okay, I see this. I see this guy, he's kind of chill. I like this dude. Oh. None of these puzzle professor stares at you with giant eyes with puzzle pieces and pupils. What? <laughs> oh my god, these- Hello, Mr. Moon! It's the moon, guys! It's the moon from Soul Eater! <laughs> this is a grid moon! Look at him! Oh my god! Now, now, down, boy! You're boarding on creating a scene, and a most unappalling one at that. Love doing Soul Eater Connor. Exactly! Look at him! He's so. He's the moon! No need to resort to violence unless you think you, you could actually get away with it. <laughs> Just kidding. Sort of. If you have a dispute to settle, perhaps you can use an elegant mind to craft an elegant solution. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! I need to, like, put in post when I edit series down. Just put. Soul Eater mood right next to him and just put it over his face and just edit him on top of it. Alright, with what's elegant then? When resolving a conflict, a gentleman always prefers the elegant solution. 
Hmm. Well, I assure you I have little interest in gentlemen's preferences. How about a how about a battle of wits by moonlight? Hmm. Hmm. Are we not considering that he is a moon? I have four cups. I place a ball in a cup. You point into the cup with the ball. Do you follow or shall I repeat? Okay. Which one is this? Okay. I see. However, I'm not certain this necessarily qualifies the Battle of Wits. Leave it to me, Professor. I can get this. Like, you just can't let a kid play. You gotta take this seriously. <laughs> Cute. So it seems you're evenly matched. Oh, come on. That's dirty. Don't be mean to him. Don't be mean to my boy. He's just trying to be like punk and protect someone's name. Jesus. Okay, the ball's there. Oh. Phoenix! Hello! Welcome, welcome! Thank you so much for coming by! Hello! Okay. I saw something strange with this guy. Ow. Oh. But I was certain it was that one. Welcome in! I hope you're having a good time. How you doing? I hope you're resting well. So is this dispute settled then? Hardly. Step aside, Luke. I'll handle this. Ooh. I'm resting well? That's good. I'm glad you're resting well. It's a good thing. I hope you can continue to rest. We're playing through Professor Layton and we're fighting against a guy in a battle of guess where the ball is in the thing. It's very funny. It's very, very funny. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> of course, first a kid, now a girl. What's this world coming to? Now what? On second thought, maybe it would be best to settle this with violence. Oh, goodness. Incredible. Very much. Very much. Now, now, let's all take a deep breath. Just relax and focus on my fantastic- No. Fucking reword that, excuse you. Alright, here we go. Win his choice first, okay. I'm noticing something weird with this guy. He did something weird. Odd about all this. Odd, like you, like three of you sneaking around here, eh? I find that odd, and I just did. But the gentleman went to shock too. Care for a go top hat, or do you let the ladies and kitties do all your dirty work? I'll be delighted to play. Now that you two have clearly tipped your hand, please don't suggest that I'm involved in some manner. I'm only a facilitator. Yeah, kinda don't. I mean, this facilitated guy don't know nothing about nothing. Come on, I ain't got all night. <laughs> so we have gangster twig arms and soul eater moon. It's very funny. All right. Alright, I, I sense something strange. I'm gonna pick this. Ah! I knew it! He said hand, so it was very easy. I believe you will let us continue on to the Lador estate. No dice fell! Connor, you said! Now, now, let's not make this ugly. You must leave the field of battle at once. Move along now. But I was... You said! Remember this facilitator guy, you better be sure, Dad. This conflict ain't resolved. Not by a long shot. A <laughs> well earned victory. Do enjoy it while you still can. I look forward to seeing you again sometime in the future. Very funny. 
I must be on my way as well. Farewell. That's very weird writing. How did you know where the ball was? You didn't notice? Our facilitator, Connor, indicated the location of the ball with his fingers as he held them over the cups. I knew they were cheating. I hope they run and I will run into those slime balls again. What are they even doing here? Do they work here or something? I'm sure there's all types of unsavory characters around here, Luke. We must keep our guard up, that's for certain. I'm not sure what that that was about, but I doubt they were acquaintances of Angela's. Maybe they were just out looking for con art to con some tourists. Well, they certainly succeed in stealing our time. Let's get to the doors. True. Luke spitting, being like, bro, we, we got shit to do, man. Frick these guys. We got shit to do. Money, I knew it. Let's see. What else is there? Anything in this? Aha, I knew there'd be money. That's the Lador estate. Is there anything else here? I knew it! Money! We always love monies! This must be the Lador estate. After 18 years, I'm a bit nervous to see Angela again, if you can believe that. Wow. I can't even imagine 18 years. A lot of people can now. Oh my god. You're still a baby, Luke. You're like seven. That's like not even half your life. You're not even halfway there. Oh baby. Oh baby, Luke is too much of a baby. Stay that way though, Luke. Say a baby. You're too sweet. Oh, big mansion. Stay, stay a little baby, Luke. You like a little baby, Luke. Nice. Look at us, getting our money's worth. What a gorgeous mansion. Who is that up there on the balcony? Ah, yes. Oh. Is that... Hello. Angela. Hello. Oh, I knew he'd come. It's so wonderful to see you again, Herschel. Hello. <laughs> I love her hair. It's kind of funny. I kind of love its design. It's really weird. Wonderful to see you, Angela. You look lovelier than ever. Thank you so much for coming, Herschel. Of course. I left as soon as I received your letter. It was a bit vague, however. Please forgive me. I didn't know how much detail I should have gone into. You know more about the mask of chaos than nearly anyone, Herschel. I just didn't know who else I could trust. Oh, where are my manners? Please, won't you come inside? Yes, but your mansion is huge! Look at this place! Ma'am! Ma'am, how much money did you get? How you had this much money in 18 years? What'd you do in 18 years that got you this much money? Girl? What can I do in 18 years to get this much money? Hello? I want this! Give this money to me! Please? Jesus! You can talk inside. Please come in. Girl! Just 18 years? You got this much money? Oh my goodness. I'm disappointed in you, Professor. The Herschel I know would never neglect to introduce his friends. <laughs> of course, my apologies. This is... Emmy Altava, the professor's assistant. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, Mrs. Lador. And I'm the professor's apprentice, Luke Triton. Charmed, Mrs. Lador. <laughs> what a polite young man. A pleasure to meet you both. Please, call me Angela. I'm sorry my husband could not be here. How is Henry these days? Extraordinary how time flies, isn't it? Yes, it is. Henry's doing very well, thank you. You haven't changed a bit, Herschel. Aside from you finally getting your hair cut. <laughs> oh no, he had a... He, he had... 
You come to learn in time. Oh my god. <laughs> I will soon learn. <laughs> but what can I do to get this money? I want to be like Angela. I want to live in a mansion in the middle of nowhere. Come on. <laughs> yes, that. We can talk about that later. Could you discuss your letter for the moment? I must say, we already experienced quite a bit of excitement since arriving here in Monte Dor. Yes, the masked gentleman is turning the town upside down. Everyone is on edge. Did you hear that he transformed a group of people into... horses? It sounds absurd, I know, but there were several witnesses. Well, we witnessed a very disturbing incident on our way over here. Don't tell me that monster is Chef again. Yes, he turned some tourists into stone. I still don't understand how he did such a thing. It certainly was terrifying. How awful. It's clear the masked gentleman is trying to destroy our town with the power of the Mask of Chaos. With all the tourists coming and going, we still haven't been able to ident identify all the victims so far. Residents are living in fear now, terrified of these marvels, or miracles, or whatever awful name he calls them. Hello, good sir. A mysterious villain Nate called the masked gentleman is performing oddly dramatic feats across town. He must have some agenda, but his motives are still unclear. The masked gentleman started staging his settling acts about a month ago. What on earth could he be after? Angela, do you know for certain that he has the actual mask of chaos? After all, that mask was lost with Randall. Who's Randall? Randall Ascot was my best friend, and the one who discovered the mask. Professor, your best friend discovered the mask of chaos? So you haven't told them about Randall, or the mask? No, I was hoping for... Honestly, I don't know what I was hoping for, Angela. What is it, Professor? You can tell us. Oh no, we've got Tuama. Oh, thank you, Cloudy. I will drink the water. Ah, water. Thank you. Randall discovered the mask, and then what happened after was my fault. You mustn't blame yourself, Herschel. Since the accident, Henry has gone to those ruins many times searching. All these years... Searching for Randall. Henry found the mask, Herschel. He what? Yes, he discovered it during one of his excursions and found a great deal of treasure as well. He came upon it in one of the caves. If he found the mask, then... Was there... Unfortunately, no. There was no sign of Randall anywhere. Henry is still searching for him, Herschel. Aside from his work and his family, it's the only thing he thinks about. I can't say that I blame him. I often catch myself thinking of Randall, even after all these years. Dependent. Yes, you remember! I love it so, even if it's aged a bit. Not unlike us, of course I remember it. I never apologize for how I treated you, Herschel. You must forgive my silence after all these years. I like that bit of animation that she does, because it's her actually untucking it from her dress and then tucking it back in. And you can actually see the line. Uh, you can see, like, the line right here of the pendant. It's really nice. It's a cute bit of animation. I knew it wasn't your fault, but I couldn't just accept that Randall was gone. I wanted to say it was because I was young, but that was no excuse. I needed someone to blame, Herschel. I'm sorry. I was completely insensitive to the fact that Randall was your best friend as well. Angela, don't. I never held anything against you. I couldn't save Randall. I broke my promise to you. It's my greatest regret that my recklessness and poor judgment cost my friend his life. It haunts me, even to this day. Jesus! <laughs> Wait a minute! So- <laughs> Hold up, wait, 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 Pause, give me a second. This happened eight over 18 years ago because the town didn't happen over 18 years ago. 
So, Herschel lost his best friend when he was a teen? Like, a teenager? Because Herschel's at least in his 30s? Huh? <laughs> what kind of traumatizing shit has this poor man been through? Wait a damn minute! What happened to him? Huh? I'm c He loses his best friend, gets shunned by the rest of his friends, falls in love with then loot- Oh god, Jesus Christ, Herschel, I'm sorry. Layton, I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ, this guy's got a life. That mask reminds me of Randall so much, as does my pendant. I protested, but Henry insisted the mask stay in the house. You kept the mask here. Then how did the masked gentleman come by it? It was stolen about a month ago. And this coincided with the first appearance of the masked gentleman. More or less, yes. Herschel, I want you to catch this villain. I want the mask, and I want Randall's memory to be left in peace once and for all. I'll do my best. Can you show me where you kept the mask? In Henry's study, he keeps it locked, and I doubt he'll be home tonight. He's coming. He's been out more and more lately. Is that so? In that case, we'll take our leave for the evening and return tomorrow. Thank you, Herschel, for everything. I reserved for you. I reserved a room for you at the drom dromedary? Dromedary? Dromedary. Drom. Drom. The drone. <laughs> the electrodrome. <laughs> I'll say that. It's the electrodrome. It's just west of the city monument. You can't miss it. Oh, well, thank you. That was very kind of you, Angela. The girls, like, help me in the Thunderdrome. <laughs> the Thunderdrome, yes. The Thunderdome, baby. Fancy place. Very nice place. Puzzle. You stumbled upon a hidden puzzle here. Oh, so now they're hidden puzzles. Now, this reminds me of a puzzle. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Here's some unusual rabbit toys. They jump. The rabbits only jump horizontal, vertical, or diagonal across other rabbits. They can jump over any number of rabbits. A white rabbit would turn brown when jumped over and vice versa. Can you make all the rabbits brown? Okay. This is interesting. Oh, it can be any direction. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Hmm. I did that. I did that. you out of this corner is the thing. Hmm. Hold up. Oh, wait, 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 there we go. All in the nice. day's work. Brown little bunnies. Chandelier, give me money. Very dramatic music. Something I see, I I will expect in the near future. What the? What? What's that? 
I can't see that down there. Huh? Hello, ma'am. I speak to you, to your shoes. If you cross Gallery Plaza and continue west to the Merchant District, you'll see the Thunderdrome. <laughs> I'm gonna keep calling it this. It's good to see you, Angela. We'll talk more tomorrow. Get some rest. Aww, Layton being a sweetheart. He cares about his friends still. So that's good. So it's, there was some bad blood back in the day. They lost Randall, and then she blamed him. However, we before we do that, I'd like to do a bit more work. That is, if you have the if you stomach, if you have your stomach has the patience. Uh, of course, I think I'm just a famous famous for clothes. <laughs> let's return to the Carnival Square. I'd like to take another look at the scene. Well, let's get to it then. <laughs> okay, let's do. Sorry. Nice hair, indeed. Look at him. I like this. I like this design. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I'm terribly sorry. My apologies, sir. Lord Pop-Tart! Hello! Welcome to our stream! Thank you so much for stopping by. I have, hope you're having a good day. Look like you could roll his head on your back to work out the tenseness. Oh my god, that'd be very funny. That's very silly, oh dear goodness. But welcome in! I hope you enjoy stream! Thank you so much for coming in! Are you Herschel Layton? I see you have me at a disadvantage. Oh dear me, I do beg your pardon. My name is Morty. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Mr. Henry Lador's assistant. Looks like Bert stinked. <laughs> Looks like Bert ends on his hair. I mean, kinda, yeah. Someone has like little sticks that they just put nubs in. <laughs> Might I ask just how are you familiar with Professor Layton? Oh, Mrs. Lador told us some days ago to expect your arrival, and here you are. She said I would know you by the hat. <laughs> Please, allow me to introduce you to Luca Triton and Miel Taba. How are you guys? I'm doing good. How about you? How are you doing? Oh dear, something. <laughs> A pleasure. I trust that you've already met Mrs. Lador. Good? That's good. Be like that. Be like that. Yes, however, we weren't able to speak to Henry. Angela said he was enga otherwise engaged currently? Oh yes, with another appearance of the masked gentleman, I'm sure Mr. Lador has his hands full for the rest of the night. However, I will inform Mr. Lador that I saw you here. Please forgive him for not greeting you himself. My, du my duties tonight are as plentiful as they are urgent. You must excuse me. You must excuse me. A pleasure meeting you. Just don't eat me. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, we don't eat other people, but I will nibble because I want to- I want to know what my- <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> we like- we like to little do a pet. <laughs> uh, never mind, Cloudy will nibble. Okay. Cloudy takes bites. Sorry, I can't handle- I'm a s'mores pop-tart? Okay, you're safe then. I prefer strawberry. <laughs> Get out, Maya! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there's a gun! <laughs> oh my god, guys, come on. You guys quit fighting or I'll turn this car around right now! <laughs> Those footsteps, could it be? Yes, the feet of a gentleman never lie! I know you even without my eyes seeing you. We're as old as you ask? Hidden, he answers. Use the zoom I told you about- hey. About later! Zoom, my lovely! Zoom! My eye, are you okay? Hello. Miraculous! It seems you have mastered the zoom! The hairs on my head have never been happier. What? You okay, bud? Oh, wait! Pop-Tart, thank you so much for the follow. It's so sweet. I hope you enjoy your time here in the mainframe. Thank you. That's so sweet. We mostly have fun here with random streams, but thank you so much. 
for all the shenaniganery. Welcome to the shenaniganeries. We're gonna have a lot of fun with playing Professor Layton and all the other stuff I'm gonna play. Oh, oh, there's more? Oh no. If you block a punch with a bowl, that means you bowl the strike or have a bowl of punch. Exactly! See, here's the thing. If someone punches hard enough, then you got a bowl of hard punch. <laughs> and that's why people black out. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I know that was a bad pun. Well, come on. That was funny. <laughs> come on. And, and Pops are you did it too? My heart. I thought us punsters would be together. Dang. Dang. See that metal box over there? Place your magnifying glass on and give it a tap. Okay, fine. Oh. Silas Clay Pot. Success! Item for your collection. You are like a museum with feet. Montadora hides many odd items and rare works of art. Find these pieces and build your collection to increase your overall joy. Oh, goodness. I love them. You have the Piper Deep, it's perfect. I need to like add an animation towards it, but that's gonna be like in a while, so I, I hope to do it. It's all, oh no, it's all you're gonna redeem? Oh, you're gonna be happy here then. <laughs> that's just a constant in my streams is the metal pipe. Oh goodness. Goodness gracious, that's gonna be great. I have no doubt that you speak the truth and in anticipation of such words, I have prepared something, a special thing for you. Remember where our destinies crossed earlier in Carnival Square? That wooden box that there? Be sure to check it again! Now that I have graciously shared my wisdom with you, I bid you... Adieu! <laughs> oh my god, they had to do the... Warning, I could be a pain in the ass sometimes. Here's the thing, you've not met my chat. <laughs> you'll be fine. You've not met my chat, so you'll be fine. I think you'll be great. He'll be a wonderful addition to the crew. <laughs> you got the collections from all this. Ooh, woo baby, let's go. I get to collect things. I get to be a hoarder. Heck yeah, I get to hoard. I get to have all my stuff put together, baby. All my monies. My favorite game is how long can you keep your hand in the waffle iron? Oh goodness, it's very funny. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Stumble, you got anything else for me to do? I wish the Smash Gentleman would at least make himself useful. I still have all these posters to put up. Oh. Oh, he's still got a struggle. Oh, hello. You're new. Hi. Hello, ma'am. Oh, look at you! I'm Colette. I'm with the circus, but I'm sure you could have figured it out. You look like smart people. Should be on stage now, but some of our equipment was damaged when those poor people were turned to stone. Look at her, she's cute. Well, that was quite a scene, wasn't it? Why would anyone do something like that? Everyone was having fun at the parade, and then that guy turns people into stone and just ruins everything? What a jerk. Sorry that sounded negative. I didn't mean that. I hate being negative. Hey, how about a puzzle to lighten things? I like Leighton as an in-depth character, even though his face is just... It is literally just dots. It is just funny. I've never seen this game. This is Professor Leighton and the Miracle Mask. This is the fifth game in the series. And I'm having a huge amount of fun in this. This is very... Great. Who was in the tent? Circus members have come into the street closer celebrating. There's one member not present. Who's... Wait, who is there in the tent? Who is in the tent? Select which person is there. Okay. We got Mr. Uh, Pompadour, I think. We got Miss over here. I think we got this guy here. This guy looks... Fifth, what the fuck? That's pointless OVA too. Yet yeah, there's, there's actually s seven 
there's six main games. There's at least two spin-off games. And there's one new game coming out soon. So you got a good couple in there. I don't see this guy's face. So I think it's... Who is in the tent? I don't see this dude. I see these legs, so it might be her. I... Mm hmm. Frickin' go! We ballin'! How about this? <laughs> I outsmart you. Puzzles are made yeah. to be solved. What kind of music do you use? I'm just using the game background music in the thing, so, um... Uh, mostly I just use video game music as my background stuff. Uh, but currently, when I play, usually that's just when I'm chatting. And sometimes I use, like, remixes, but I make sure to, like, to credit the people, being like, They did this! Please go check them out. Do you know anything about these strange things happening around town? They're happening about the same time we got here. The police think this masked ma madman is some kind of magician, but these are no simple tricks, I tell you. Magic shouldn't be used to harm people or cause chaos anyway. Unless the chaos was making rainbow puppies or something. <laughs> girl, I like this girl a lot. I couldn't agree with you more. Someone needs to stop this masked freak so people can enjoy Montador again. I like her a lot. She's cute. I think she's probably one of my favorite, like, random characters in this game now. She's got a cute design and she's silly. My favorite is a Metallica Slipknot Motorhead of Three Days Grace. Very metalhead. Damn. I love that. She's cute. She is. Things seem to have calmed down here. Yes, it appears that the statues have been cleared away. We should search for any clues that were left behind. I am a metalhead. We appreciate the metalheads in this world. Hell yeah. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's start with the policeman. Hello. Halt! You! No walking! I mean, stop there where you're walking. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Should I be walking somewhere else? You almost destroyed some important evidence there, lad. Oh, have you found something, officer? Oh, yes. We didn't just find something. We really found something. See these hoof prints? Mine is suspicious. They're all marked with footprints with the tourists running everywhere. There's more effort put into Kong Island's game than this game. Hey, come on. This is D. This is the 3DS, so what do you expect? She's means. Mm, They're in the same direction that the masked gentleman went. How's that for some real police work? Uh, well, I suppose that may be helpful. Have you talked to any witnesses? Have we talked to witnesses? We're the police! Of course we have! I mean, we thought about it anyway. But we'll grow those witnesses just as soon as we find them. See, it's hard to find witnesses in a tourist town like Montador. At least we've all got the statues in custody. They won't be giving us any more trouble. And we have to find out who, find out who they were. I realize that most of the people here were tourists when I was asking around. No one seems to know much about the Ladors. Only our residents would know about the Ladors. Good people, big house. Do you need any general information about Montador? I know someone over in the merchant district you should talk to. Her name is... It's... Eloise? No, that's not it. Jillian? That's not it either. I know she's a woman. <laughs> she's a woman with a name and her shop is over in the merchant district. Just west of Mont... Montsart... Montsartan Gallery. Montsartan Gallery. Okay, Jesus. Oh, Mont's Art and Gallery. Mont's Art. Whatever. Jesus Christ. It's Montador Art there. Alright. I see you, lady. Ma'am. Hello. Puzzle. Ah! Girl? You okay? Your English won't English? That's the thing. My English never Englishes. That's why I'm a glitch. I just glitch and it's like, yeah, that's me struggling with English. Help. Did you see it? The masked gentleman is so talented. I can barely control myself just thinking about him. People turned into stone. What a show. What a show. That was no 
show, miss. Madeline, call me Maddie. And you're telling me it was no show. It was an experience is what it is. Pure genius. You saw the most recent dark miracle? Saw it? I didn't just see it. I felt it. I lived it. At one point, I wonder if I was it. It changed me, truly. I loved the mask work. I loved the mask work. That's a weird sentence, okay. I haven't seen a piece wrought with such tension in such a while. Not quite, not since this puzzle, anyway. Uh, girl, are you okay? This guy is like a terrorist. <laughs> He's terrorizing an entire town with random stuff going on. And you're like... <laughs> It's like the Tumblr gross, but he's so high. <laughs> Garble flags have shown about. There are seven different range sequences. There are seven different flags range of seven. One of three such flags. One of three flags is shown in the top right corner. How many instances can you appear in the strings? Okay. So how many of this appears? So let's start with this. We've got... Oh, it freezes it. Oh my goodness, that's lovely. One here. Technically this here. Let me see. Let me read this again. How many times does a sequence appear in the flag? Showing of flags. Write out the answer. There are seven different flag arrangements. Okay. So we've got two here. I don't see that one there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> You can kind of see it here, but there's not anything there. Can I, like, move the thing? No, I can't. All right. How many times does this sequence appear on string? In the strings of the flag shown above. My question is, does it include all of these instances or just any occurrence of these? Because that's the question. Because this is close, but it misses the third flag. This is close, but we can't see the flag on the end. Puzzle. Puzzle is indeed silly. So, you know what? I have hint coins. Start by locating for any one of the flags. For example, you should look for the white and purple. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you spot the one in the near top corner? Won't be easy to find. Instance in the near top left corner. Speaking of, did you notice the flags are double sided? That way the flags are reversed. Okay. Hmm. Um. That doesn't help me, so. It's counting this one, I think. Then this one here I saw. And then. How many times a sequence of flags appears on the string? I counted two. There's two, I saw. Three. Flags are double-sided, you'll see the scene in other ways. All these flags are three flags are symmetrical, so you won't have to worry about changing what you're looking at outside. What a relief. That's not helpful. Um... Hmm. Like, <clears throat> this is really close, but it's not there. Like, this sequence of flags. Like, this is close, but that's not it. Like, that's so close. 
Because it needs to be this one. What? Fuck it, we ballin'. I believe I have Two. this one. You freaking cheat! <laughs> I was overthinking it! God dang it! <laughs> I was overthinking it, you assholes! Oh, you meanies! I was overthinking it! I thought there were more! <laughs> dang! Wonderful! That was almost as impressive as the masked gentleman! Any chance you know him? I'd love to meet him! Mask of the suit? Brilliant! Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Just brilliant! <laughs> Professor, may I interject here for a moment? The masked gentleman could be anywhere right now. Good point, Emmy. He has protected his identity in a mask in a town full of masked individuals. Yes, there are masks everywhere. The town is filled with them. Wait, does that mean everyone here is a genius? Oh my! There's a boutique over there with a merchant that rents costumes. I know that. I know they're there. They love the masks. Does that mean that the masked gentleman does the shopping there? Oh Lord Jesus, we love, we love fangirls. We we love it. He said to come back to the box. So. Foxy, knobbly cane. Love that. Head for the merchant district. Okay. That looks like the merchant district over there, Professor. It's like a left here. I would hope I could take a lift. Oh, hello. <laughs> My man's over here like, pumped. Rip. Take money. I knew you would have money in you. Game posture, yup. Very much game posture. Look at him. Oh no, he looks he looks different. He looks decent. I heard the parade was ruined. Too bad, so sad as they say. The police always seem to be a step behind this guy. Typical. The lady in the boutique knows more than all of our police officers combined. For optimal gaming, exactly. You gotta be lean forward so that way you can focus, baby. That's how it is. The lady in which boutique? The one I'm standing in front of. Why, you're gonna exchange your costume? <laughs> oh, no. Thank you very much. No thanks necessary. Or wanted re- Oh, wow, okay. Professor, this must be the shopkeeper the police were telling us about. She may have some information for us. My man was sassy. My man was snarky as heck. He was like, yeah. Don't thank me. Madam Lapushka! <laughs> oh, that's so cute! Lapushka! That's such a cute little name! Nabushka! Lenny? Oh, hello. Warped mirror. Lenny? Look at this! This place is cute! Oh, hello. Puzzle. Doesn't that mask look a little bit like the Mask of Chaos to you? I wonder if it's supposed to symbolize the sun. You're right, now that you mentioned it, the masked gentleman's mask has the same type of symbol, doesn't it? I've been meaning to show someone this puzzle. Would you like to take a look? Like, this is what the puzzles are. I have a puzzle. Would you like to see it? Oh, it's a stamp. Okay. Alright, so then... It has to spiral. It spirals... Uh, counterclockwise when facing this way, so it has to uh, go clockwise. Um, spirals inwards going counter, so it has to spiral inwards clockwise, which is not you, not you, not you. Um, nope, you. Okay, here we go. Two, three. <laughs> Easy puzzle. That was no match for my wits. Exactly. My wits being, I can count. <laughs> I can count spirals. You had a brilliant idea with that puzzle, Luke. Thanks, I'm glad you warmed up to the idea. There's another one. 
Hello, ma'am. Why, hello, darlings. Do come in. Thank you. May I ask if this is your shop? Oh, shush. Now, I don't want to hear one word. Just have a seat here. I know exactly what you're here for. You poor dears. Who's responsible for fitting all of you? You young men would look quite so adorable in a little Harlequin outfit. Actually, we'd just like to ask you a few questions. Ah, yes, here to pick Madame Lapushka's brain on the latest styles. Well, if you solve this puzzle, perhaps I can help you. They have 200 puzzles in their pockets at all times, exactly, yes. They do. The delicatessen is quite fashionable for shop for groceries this season. You can always shop through the window here. The window is covered in posters, but can you see how many people are there? Okay. So we can count. Um... Oh, that's hard to see. One, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven feet, and then this little foot here. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see eight people. There might be someone hiding there. I think there's eight. How about this? Two, three, ah! Puzzles! Puzzles are made to be solved. Yeah. Yeah, look at them. Including a little girl writing piggyback. See, that's me. I would like to write piggyback. Nicely done. Now, how may I help you? No, wait. Just tell me a bit more about yourself and we can, we'll find a mask that suits your personality. Actually, I wanted to ask you about the masked gentleman. Oh, you like styles with a classic flair. Well, there's not much to say. He appeared about a month ago. No one knows who he is. I mean, he craves attention, clearly. His extravagant acts speak for themselves. He turns some tourists into horses. Odd. He performs these magic tricks that, well, some say they're real. I do not. That's all I know, darlings. If you're on some sort of investigation, I have a little something that may help your logic skills. Who knows? It also may help your fashion skills here, young man. What? Me? Here, I made this game myself. The only sense of fashion, but you'll get the hang of it. You're still young. You may just learn how to run a shop, too. Sounds like... fun. <laughs> Thank you. The shop minigame... Two mini games, baby. Let's go within the span of two hours. Let's go. Fresh fruits. Madame Lapushka gave you the shop. <laughs> oh, we just run her store now. Heck yeah. It's not easy to bring up a shop, you know. If you manage to sell out each aisle's inventory, come back and let me know. Don't forget now, okay? I won't. I'll sell out every aisle and come back to show you. I like Lapush Madame Lapushka. She's fun. She's a fun character. It seems that we've gathered all we can. I think it's finally time to head to the hotel. I believe we can get there. We just head north of the Conversion District. And it's who? Make it easy on ourselves. Damn, I wish I owned a shop just to make customers run it. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Just like, I have the money. You can run. Oh. Hello. That's a fun thing to see over there. Oh, hello. Intricate fish hook that looked like an octopus. Money? Money? Look at this tall ass building. They're so tall. Money, okay, hello. Why is it always seltzer? I mean, wouldn't uncarbonated water be just as funny? <laughs> Look, Professor, a clown! <laughs> Look, don't point! Well, that's a bit rude, my boy. Don't just call me clown. I do have a name, you know. It's Juggles. Oh, he meant no disrespect, sir. Yes, I'm sorry. Juggles, sir. Oh, no, my apologies. I need to learn not to take things so seriously. Look at my hands. <laughs> that's me. It looks like you folks are looking for something a bit more challenging. How about a puzzle? Heck yeah, puzzles everywhere. Give them to me. Uh, it's, it's yuckles. 
Oh no, this clown's supposed to be on stage, but he tripped and dropped his juggling equipment. Everything comes in pairs, but one of them is not in pairs. Okay, so we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, question mark. Hold up. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's 18. Am I silly? Ah, you sneaky, you got a box. Don't keep me in suspense. <laughs> you hold the box. That's missing it. That's why. Oh. There is no puzzle without a solution. Wait a damn minute. Hold up. I need to. Jesus Christ. I just realized something with Layton's point. The clown's only one holding one box, which which is part of his juggling act. <laughs> Where could the other box be? Hey, hey, I wonder. I wonder. Cheeky, cheeky little mice. Nice. Last time I saw detective sk deductive skills, I was learning I was earning my PhD in clown theory and existential enigmanomics. Oh, I want those to be real for dumb things. Speaking of nothing, I said, have you seen the monument here? I have a feeling you may find it interesting. Yes, I've heard it's an important part of the city's history. It commemorates the founding of Monte Dor, if I recall correctly. Yes, it's a stone edifice of attempting to stall the momentum of time itself. But it fails, it always fails! Such is man's lot. Shame that recent events have even cast, have cast such a bleak light on the festivities here. If you'll excuse us, we'll head to the to the Thunderdrome, to the Electrodrome. How fancy! Even if I can get electric car, eh, twenty clowns into a what the? Why was my brain on an electric car? It's probably because I said Thunderdrome. How fancy! If I could even get twenty clowns into a compact car, I couldn't. I couldn't afford to stay. Stay there. It's just west of here, right? Have fun. Our circus is near there. If you're in the neighborhood, stop by if you have the time. Because time always has you. Existential, we love it. We love this. Oh, hello. This hotel looks great! Well, it certainly looks like Mrs. Lodora is taking care of us. Yes, I doubt it. I have stayed in a hotel this nice before, actually. Clown Town in the Clown Town. I suppose a town that lives on tourism must have its fair share of fancy hotels. This town is for clowns? Yes, that's why I should live here. One moment, Luke. Who is this here? Who is this here? A sign. <laughs> Oh, zoom. The Thunderdrome. Money? Anything else here? I don't see anything. Okay. Let's keep searching for the monies. Money. That's a sign. Alright, let's talk to this guy then. This flip ball is a curse upon my house! A curse, I say! Oh, look at that rabbit! It's so cute! And you would find this bunny to be cute? A poachy cottontail such as this would be lauded for its looks! Truly a shame. This fur-covered sloth has exhausted my patience. Get thee out of my sight! Getting rid of him, but why? Why? My boy, a circus is like a play. Everyone must play their part, but this idle fuzzball wants to get on by its cuteness. You can't just toss him out on the street. I know, what if I taught him some tricks that he could perform at the circus? What is this? You think that you, a child, a mere babe, could teach tricks to this fluffy, hopping rodent? Stop treating the bunny so mean. 
course, I can talk to animals. He said he doesn't want to leave his friends in the circus. He says he'll work very hard if you give him another chance. He says he's sorry. Right, Bunny? Yes, he does. Please just give him another chance. I work here my entire life and no animal listens to me. And this child steps forth and speaks to my- to speak with my laziest rascal? So be it. But I swear this, that Bunny's feet shall not see my stage until I see an ocean of progress. I have- I'll give you half a fortnight. That's one week. One week I give you to tra transform this soft mass of fuzzy rubbish into a dedicated performance maestro. You'll see, sir. He'll be the hardest working bunny in show business. Oh, bunnies. We love that. <gasps> oh, we get to pick! Oh, wait, do we? Who would he go for? They're so cute! <laughs> no! Oh, but... <laughs> They're both adorable! But... Who do we... Do I go for brown bun or the floppy bun? They're both adorable! Oh, no! I want them both! Can I have both? Please? Mm. No. Alright, hold up. Flip a coin, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip a coin. Frick it. I need to flip a coin. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Hold up, hold up. So we have four contestants. We have Brown Bunny, who shall be heads, and Flappy Bunny, who shall be tails. Let us see what happens. Okay. All right, <laughs> brown bunny it is. Oh no, wait. Oh wait, stop it. Stop it. But you boys, but you boys so cute. I can't. Flip, flip again, flip again. Come on, come on, come on. Flip, flip, flip. Okay, come on. I can't. I can't. But they're so happy. Okay, I'm going. No! <laughs> Come back! I'm just sorry! <laughs> oh, I can name it too! <laughs> oh no! Oh, <laughs> I can't! I won both! Alright, I know what I'm naming this bunny. I have to. This is tr- that's- this is just tradition. I have to. Rapid mini game has been added into the trunk. Rabbits, eh? Yes, I'll name him. Oh, the guy. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Never mind. Oh well. Sorry, new. <laughs> I'm sorry, new. <laughs> you sh you said you shall call make it. No, there are them. Fuck it. I'm there are them now. Frick it. You shall cut. You shall make them the hardest working of their kind. Such a bold claim, my friend, my boy. Let time sh tell how the bunny shall hop. Cute little fellow, aren't they? I'll bring them home once- I'll bring them back once we taught them some tricks, Luke. I'm going to turn you into a great performer, you! Thank you. What's that, you? Are they trying to say something, Luke? Sif, sif, sif. No thought behind those eyes, nope, but I love it. They say they won't let us down, isn't that right, Neil? Don't worry, little fellow, we'll get you back home in the circus in no time. Well, this has been quite an eventful and informative evening. I think it's time to step back into our to hotel. We have a bunny with us now. I love them. We just have a bunny. A bunny. Let's go ahead and check with the gentleman at the front desk. Oh. Oh, we see... We see... We see... We see a certain... Thing here, I see. We have a certain thing. Hmm. I used to have two pet bunnies a few years ago. I used to have a bunny too. 
And I wish I took better care of it because I was too young. It was like years ago, but I was not smart enough to take care of a rabbit. Maybe now, now that I have a bit more knowledge and I can do research, but like... Bro, if I had a rabbit, I would love it to death. I would, I would give it all the pets in the world and I would make sure it feels comfortable and safe. Let it hop around my home, I would love it. It looks vaguely familiar. Are you having deja vu, Luke? Is this part of the hotel's decor? Are we just not going to be able to go to in here? Okay. Alright, hello, hello ma'am. They were outside rabbits? Yeah, I'd have to like get a good outside place. Yuming. I love this hotel. The location is perfect. The name. The Thunderdrome. I mean, what's that supposed to mean? I hate it. Actually, I rather like the name. It refers to the camel outside the, on the sign out front. Your taste is different from mine, clearly. Anyway, I hear that another hotel in town that rivals this one. May have to, I may check that one out as well. Isn't it fun see, to see different hotels when you're visiting a city? I love it. Yes, perhaps we should we will look at other hotels later as well. Yu Ming. Cool. Hello, sir. You're staring me intensely. Greetings. Do you have a reservation? Pascal. I believe so. Herschel Layton? Hmm. I'm sorry, but I don't see anything under that name. We're fully booked at the moment. Perhaps another hotel would be... Oh, here it is. Professor Layton, of course. As guests of our owners, we're at your service. I'll get your keys. One moment. So, do the Lodores own this hotel? That is news to me. Quite impressive. I can see, I can see how Henry will enjoy the classic form formality of the place. Professor, what is Mr. Lador like? Were you two close friends as well? I remember Henry is a very refined and polite young man. However, Henry and I never talked all that much, to be honest. He and Randall were quite close, though. I can't wait to meet Mr. Lador. Those shits were spoiled? Oh, they should be. Rabbits deserve- all pets deserve to be spoiled. They all deserve to be. I would like to spoil a rabbit. Everything is ready, sir. Now, if you could just have some sign here, please allow me to offer you a welcome puzzle, compliments of the house. The treatment here is certainly first class, bruh. N okay, here's the thing. That's cute, but if you were like an adult and you just got off of a long road trip and they said, here's a puzzle for you. And you're like, just get me to the damn hotel room, bruh. Okay, two porters have to carry six luggage of unknown weight. Each piece weighs a different amount. They're labeled A to F. Uh, hunk. Good hunk. A being the lightest and F being the heaviest. Each weighs up to 10 pounds and total weight is 40 pounds or less. Each can carry 20 pounds at once and between them they want to carry it all on one trip. How should they divide the luggage between them? They can carry up to 20 pounds, so... So, hmm. So we gotta balance it out, kind of like this. They wanna cut, divide it up, so. No, okay. Oh, okay. You just had to swap it. Nice. Don't keep me in suspense. Two, three. Ah -ah. There is no puzzle without a solution. He just fell over like, ugh. <laughs> like, I can't get this. Well done. Well done indeed. We have room 502. We have you in room 502. Please enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. That made for a wonderful welcome. Do you think all of the guests get a free puzzle when they arrive? Or just the preferred ones? <laughs> Ooh, snarky. Very snarky indeed. Ooh. Well, this is a- that's- those are two big-ass beds. Holy hell. This has to be the nicest hotel in Monte Dor. The beds look so soft, too. We have quite- we have had quite an eventful day here today in Monte Dor. Wouldn't you say so, Emmy? You could say that again, Luke. I'm spent. A day like today makes me wonder if there's really even magic out in the world. Do 
do you really think that the Mask of Chaos holds some magical power? We can't say for certain, Luke, but we don't want to jump to any conclusions one way or another. If it wasn't magic that turned those people to stone, what was it? That's the question, isn't it? And we're here to find the answer. Yes, but let's just say the mask didn't actually have magic powers. If it weren't the case, how would anyone steal it? A good question, Luke. My intuition tells me there is more to the masked gentleman than that meets the eye. However, I'm not fully convinced that he actually has the Mask of Chaos. After all, I saw that mask disappear many years ago. What happened to it, Professor? You said it had something to do with your best friend, Randall. Tell us about him, Professor. About Randall. Professor, I know this may be difficult for you, but any information you can share with us may help our investigation. That would be alright, Professor. You don't want to fry. See, that would be me. I would be like, uh, we need some help, but only if you're comfortable, like, sharing with it, because that's just me. Yes, perhaps you are right. It may help our investigation. It may help me as well. Very well. This was around the last time I saw Angela. Randall, Angela, Henry, and I all lived in a small town called Stansbury, just over the mountain range there. It was a charming little place. No one locked their doors. We were all surrounded by nature. And Randall was, indeed, my best friend. He educated me in all sorts of disciplines, including archaeology. I still have much to learn in the field, most certainly. Back then, I wasn't even vaguely interested in archaeology. What? Really? I can't imagine that. Ooh, so my man Randall taught him all the stuff he needs to know. That night, we just listened to the professor. It broke my heart to hear him recount how he had lost his best friend. But hidden in his story was a clue that would prove essential to solving the case of the masked gentleman. He learned his history. Yes, we save our progress. The Secret of Norwell. This is just chapter two. Oh my god, there's gonna be so much to do. Jesus Christ. The first I heard Green of the Mosque of Chaos. Green beans, welcome in. Thank you so much for it stopping must have by. Been about Eighteen years welcome ago. Welcome in. We're playing Professor Layton and the Ma Miracle Mask. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Whoa! Oh, cutscene. Cutscene. <laughs> Oh dang, he got had. <laughs> oh my goodness, Layton! I win again, Herschel. GG's Guess that means you'll indeed. be going with me tonight. Randall, I told you, I'm not interested in archaeology. Stop with the nonsense, Herschel. What happened to your sense of adventure? Look at this. <laughs> You can't be serious. Layton. Yes, I'm Look very at his serious. Hair. I'm going to make archaeological history tonight. Do you have any idea what this could mean? It'll be the find of the century, and you're coming with me. Oh. So what do you say there, old chum? You're in, right? Randall, I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Insistent best friend with the quiet one. This time will be different, Herschel. You won't regret it, I swear. Oh. I've got a good feeling about this. Layton, what the heck happened to your hair? Why is it like that? I love it, but buddy. Buddy, it's so polygonal. I've heard that one before, Ooh. Randall. I don't have time to go on another Ooh, one that of was these so silly down. expeditions of yours. That was a slow down, oof. I'm telling you, this is different, Herschel. It isn't some silly adventure. I think I might be onto something big this time. Oh, really? 
do tell. <laughs> something priceless. Something indescribable. Something beyond your wildest dreams, Herschel. I play all through all the Layton games and I'm halfway through Catriel's Mystery Journey. Ooh. I've not played Catriel's Mystery Journey. I'm going through all the games and we're going through game five and I have not, I don't know much about the game. All right, class, you've proven your legs work. Shots. Now please exercise your backsides oh and Oh my god, seated. sir, I, you, why is your nose the length of your chin? <laughs> sir, your nasal cavity. Just me tonight. Soon our names will be in all the papers. You'll be the famous scholar Herschel Lake. Jeez. Jesus, what the heck? My guy's nasal cavity was just gone. At least he can breathe good. I don't know if he can. He's like, his, where is his nostrils like specifically placed? Because it looks like they're right in front of his mouth. So he's just smelling his breath the entire time. My clock never seems to tell the right time. Nor does my watch for that matter. What was that puzzle Randall was going on about? <laughs> just breath. <laughs> just smell. Wandering watches. Four people talking at the end of the party. After talking very joy even party, comparing watches realize none of them have the correct time. My watch is always 20 minutes slow. This old thing is 10 minutes slow. I set mine five minutes fast. This one is 10 minutes fast. Okay. One of them is... Alright, so we've got... <laughs> Why would you do... Why would you set your clock five minutes fast is the question. Genuine question. So we've got... 20... 10... 5... 10... So let's just do this for my mind. So... 5 minutes fast and 10 minutes fast... Hmm. So the highest time is 135. The lowest time is 105. So it'd have to be about 15 some hmm. or it could be 120. 120 hmm. would be a good number to go with. Oh wait, 120 it'd be 25 then. Because then. This one would be, um, 10 minutes slow. This would be the 10 minutes slow. This would be the 5 minutes fast. This would be the 10 minutes fast. And this would be the 20. So yeah. 1, 20, a 5. <laughs> Here goes. 2, 3. Hey! Okay, that's a tricky one. That's a fun. scary reveal because that's like it doesn't look like you've got that it's 1 25 in the morning oh jesus christ y'all go to bed time may wait for no man but it seems i must wait for time <laughs> oh that's a that's a correct answer like that's how it is with life you just wait on time He always scares me. I'm like, be more sure of yourself. Yes, he's just... I was just like, is that the correct one? And then I hear the jingle. It's like, okay, so it is. But my man's like, oh, I got it. It's like, bruh, don't be slow. Come on, catch up. Ah, good. You're all seated. Perhaps there is some hope for the future. Oh, wow. I'm sure everyone did the reading on Dr. Rutledge's groundbreaking book, Ancient Histories, correct? So everyone already knows that Relich searched several archaeological sites, which he believes shared similar origins. Oh, Green Beans, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you enjoy your time here in the mainframe. Thank you, that's so sweet. It'll be fun to have another friend to join. Thank you. Of course, we all know he found a common factor in these, linking these sites, which was the previous unknown Azran civilization. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so this connects to Azran Legacy then. Alright, that's interesting. Because I don't know anything about these next two games. Some about this game, but this is like a duology thing together with this. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's interesting. Alright, good to know. Years later, we barely scratched the surface of the Azran and the wonders they left behind. Rutledge is great, breathtaking. Ugh. Rutledge's breakthrough sparked a boom in research of archaeological research. But you already knew that, of course. Here on page 13, we see an incomplete journal of one excavation. Leighton, what do you make of this? Let's take a look, sir. Let's see, it's a puzzle! Okay. Alright, these explorers found a unique object at different depths. Hmm, okay. Let's see. One, the doll is made of wood. Okay. B dug 100 centimeters deeper than D, who found something made of stone at 50. An item made of blue-tinged metal was found deeper than the wooden one. The pot is made of sandy clay. The coin is found somewhere shallower than the wood sword. Okay. So let's start off with this. This is probably the doll. So, that's that. D found something at 50, and B found something at something bigger. So this is around here. Um... Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. Don't want the details. Here we go. This is just easier for me to read. Um... Let's see. So... Took something deeper. A light blue tinged metal was found deeper than the one at the bottom. Found much was deeper than the wooden one, so that means this one is the only one deeper. The pot is made of sandy clay, so. You're made of metal, which means you're clay. The coin was found much shallower than the sword. So it has to be something like this, because the sword is deeper than the coin. The pot's made of clay. That's metal. Doll is made of wood. And item of blue tinged metal was found deeper than the wooden one. I think this is it. Let's hope. I'm not certain. Two, three. Herschel! <laughs> Be sure of yourself, sir. It? Have a backbone. God, <laughs> stop scaring me. A found a metal blade 200 centimeters deep. B found a wooden doll 150. C found a clay pot at 100. And D found a stone coin at 50. That's a really interesting setup. Stone coin. Hmm, <laughs> I didn't actually think that was possible. Good work, Layton. Now sit. Thank you, sir. I will. Big brain. Thank you. I try. Well, Leighton tries as well. He has to have a big brain because this is the past. Let's move on. One of Rutledge's most interesting discoveries was the stones, stone circle at Pil... at Pil... Pilnoth. Pilnoth was theorized to be a primitive holy site. Some rather unique artifacts were discovered there. These artifacts were the basis for a complex comparative study by the notable biologist Doris Pompatus. Pompatus. Okay. She theorized that these ancient peoples ex exhibited heightened techno intelligence as well as an elaborate language. Furthermore, through extensive fossil analysis, she proved that Earth, Earth once had a different ecosystem. Fossils have one way of telling a story. Would anyone care to show me how? Sir, let me do it, please! <laughs> Alright, Ascot, let's see if your ability matches your enthusiasm. Alright, we get to play as Randall. Oh, goodness. These are found in the riverbed. Close and really few tooth marks. And some kind of ancient fish. Can you tell which one it is? Well, it's not B because it's 40. Wait, no. It's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 
that's four, that's four. So it has to be this one, because that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Because you would see these marks here, they're so close. So you, please be this one. Here's my answer. See, look at my man Randall is no sure of himself. Solution. He's like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I'm a smart boy. <laughs> The shape of the teeth is irrelevant. Look at the bite mark as a whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man's like, I get this. <laughs> Impressive, Asuka. I see you've done your homework on this topic. With all due respect, sir, my brain barely broke a sweat. I am due a bit more respect than that. Asuka's endless confidence will be on the final exam, so do take note of it. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Our ancient forefathers created many wonders here in England, of which we've only found the smallest handful. Most of these models were crushed beneath the heel of time, but their legacies remain in various forms. Sir! Oh, Mr. Collins! The laboratory pass is on my desk, Gascott. <laughs> ah! By the way, Catriel's mystery journey has cases instead of a main story, and it's pretty cool because I was able to guess what was happe happening. Unlike the big mystery in Professor Layton. Oh, okay. So it's like, I guess it's like Ace Attorney a lot more than it is Professor Layton style. Because Layton's like one big story, but it's different cases. I see. That makes sense. All right. That'll be fun to see. I can't wait for Catriel, though. That's going to be fun. No, it's not that. I was wondering if you heard of the Mask of Chaos. Yes, Ascot, I'm also aware of the Rosetta Stone and the mythical of the mythology of the Holy Grail if you're checking the qualifications. According to Rutledge, the Mask of Chaos is, was imbued with magical powers. Do you think it was actually exists, sir? I find it unlikely that such a sought-after artifact filled with magical powers would go unfound for someone. Wait, have you pay played for Ace Attorney? I have not on stream. I played the games, but not on stream. I want to play them on stream with a bunch of friends so we could all read along together. But that'll be fun. I'm excited for that. I played the Ace Attorney games, so they're fantastic. I love them. If I thought such treasures were still waiting to be found, I would be out looking for them rather than here, lecturing, lecturing you all. That being said, even if its existence and power were pro somehow proven, it would take a master archaeologist to find it. So, Ascot, if you're done with your series of irrelevant questions, perhaps I can teach you relevant answers. I'm excited for the trilogy PC release. Yeah, the second trilogy is coming, baby! I'm excited for the next trilogy release. I, I need more Ace Attorney games, man. I need more. I need more, man. I want more so bad. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Randall. Sheesh. Sheesh! Since you're so keen to show off your formidable intellect, Ascot, you can solve the next problem, too. Real Layton is my copia. Layton has so much sass, and I love it. It's fantastic, man. Here are pieces of... Here, here's a fossil broken into nine pieces. It has been restored before, once before, but let's say one of the teachers was clumsy. It was put together in a 3x3 three three square. Can you put it back together? Since it was quite fragile, you could only move three pieces at a time. Vertically or horizontally. Okay. Oh! Oh! I see the shenaniganeries here. Oh! That's weird. What the hell? That's weird. Ooh. Do I like this? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so that's parts kind of put together. There we go. That's coming together. And it's that piece. Hmm. 
No, I messed that part up. So then it's... I did that, that... There was this vid that was talking about Professor Wayne, and, and one thing they said was, Oh, we found the villain's lair! Looks like it's locked with a sliding puzzle! Oh, yes, that is very much Leighton-esque. It's like, ah, yes, we have this... We, we're meeting with the villain right now, but there's a puzzle in our way. God dang it! Curses! Our one weakness, we must solve the puzzle. But Professor, we don't have much time! Puzzle! It's like, oh, okay. Hey, Professor, I've solved it. Hooray! <laughs> Yippee! I'm just yippies. Hmm. That's so weird. That's only three at a time. Okay, so that goes there. Okay. God, this is so weird. Putting this together in my brain is like weird. It's like, ugh. Okay, that goes there. This is so weird. I don't like this. Bruh. Whoever broke this, I'm gonna come for you. Like, come on, man. You that clumsy? Okay. So that's kind of meant to be there. Okay, that's where that goes. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Hold up. I think. I hope. God, I hope. I'm sure I've like messed this like 12 times over and everyone's screaming, it's this way! <laughs> you don't stop messing it up! And I'm over here just like, ew, I'm twying. I'm twying. Yeah. It's weird, it's so fun. Twy and put this together. Let's see. Whoever made this puzzle, I wish to smack them in the face because why would you torture me so? I keep messing up. Hold up. Nope. Wrong thing. I don't want to use a hand coin. Hmm. 
Okay, so these match up. Oh, wait a minute. Am I silly? Am I was like over- I was overcomplicating it, oh my god. Leave this to me. I'm sure of it. Jesus Christ, my brain was going too far. Solving four moves. Whoa, thank you. Really? All right, I see that you've been sufficiently dazzled by the marvels of science enough for one day. Class dismissed. Oh, was that easy? My brain is silly. I was overcomplicating it so much. Jesus. Wow, that just flew by. Cranky Collins is a grump, but he sure knows how to give a lecture. What is it that you were pestering him about? Ha! Curious, are you? Curious as to why you would provoke the person who controls your grade. Yes. Well, come over to my house later tonight and I'll explain everything. And don't make me the bad guy, Herschel. I hate withholding information from you. <laughs> Randall. Honestly, sometimes I don't understand you at all. And so goes the price of genius. Just meet me at my place after dinner, okay? <laughs> Layton's like, bruh, what are you doing? And <laughs> my guy Randall's over here like, bruh, just... Just come over my place, please. I wanna hang. I wanna hang out, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> These characters are fun, though. I like them. Oh, I saw you. Good said. Trying to hide from me. Why are there shoes up there? Oh, puzzle. Hello. That umbrella's been lying there for years. Never thought I'd take pity for an umbrella. Oh, it's so sad. A gust of wind broke my umbrella. It was my favorite, too. I was hoping to buy one with an exact design. All the umbrellas look similar, so it's hard to find one that broke my matching broken one. Okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? One, two, three. No, eight. There are eight of these, so. So let's look at these. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it can't be D, because these two flashy. These two big. Um. It can't be E because that's the it's got four bumps here. Hmm. It can't be U because that's not the same hook. So I guess it's B because it's got four bumps. That has four bumps. It has, I can't tell how many this has here, but I'm gonna assume it's eight because it's the only one closed, which is silly. This doesn't have the bump there. This has too many points. So I guess B. I'm not certain. Two. Layton, be sure of yourself, sir. Did I get it? I get it, you're in high school, but come on. Oh, it's from the outside in. Oh. For E. I'll just leave the umbrella there. It's practically part of the scenery by now. Bruh, you just you just leave the umbrella? Give it a home at least. Banded umbrella. The most depressing part of the story. wrong to look at other people's lockers, but, but you do so anyway, because it's, it's how it goes, Layton. Funny. I feel like there's something else in this area, but I don't think so. Uh, hello. Oh, hello, Dalston. <laughs> hey, Brat Scott. Off another adventure to find Camelot. Say hi to the dragons for me, you ninny. 
Archaeology is the study of our past. Even you must see the value in that, Dalston. You <laughs> can't earn cash from the past. When are you ever going to wake up to that? While you're digging up pottery, I'll be running my very own hotel. Oh god, I'm going to have more hotels than my old man. That archaeology stuff won't even get you out of Stansbury, you know. I happen to like Stansbury, Dalston. But London really is the only place to get a decent university degree in archaeology. Well, while you're studying ancient spoons, I'll be building my hotel empire. Wonderful! I always need a base of operations for my expeditions. <laughs> my my man was trying to be was trying to bully Randall, and Randall said when either went over his head or he was so easy to quip back that he couldn't say shit. Simple version. Aren't you going to need your bag for study group tonight? <laughs> Angela! Hey, Randall! Did you get out of practice early today? Ooh. Yes, Herschel and I have some important things to do. Everything looks good. We're done! Can you two wait a minute while I get my things? Oh. She's as radiant as ever. And she likes the most handsome chap in town. Too bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, lady. Oh, Angela. Don't Aww. you take that from him, Herschel. Randall, is that any way to treat your best friend? Hmm? Oh. Well, I suppose I could be a little nicer. But Herschel needs to stop running away from his future in archaeology. Bruh. He doesn't look like he's running away. Perhaps he's just not interested. Thank you. I think I can change that. I've got something very special to show the two of you. Ah, not again. What is it now? <laughs> Layton, it's so sassy! The Mask of Chaos. Why am I not surprised? Randall, what is it about this fairy tale that has captured your I know the trilogy release is Sue's, but skeptic. another game that takes place in the same That's universe right. is Ace Attorney. At least I want today's it's fencing cool. match. Ghost Trick. Yes, I have played Ghost I Trick. Do, Ghost correct? Trick is so great. It's Eight like right, the Herschel? best part. Angela, you too. To the future that awaits. Ghost Trick is so good. Go play Ghost Trick. I should play that for a stream because it's very funny. <laughs> I love that game so much. I doubt I'll be able to talk Randall out of this latest nonsense. I should probably get to studying done while I can. Aw, schoolboy Layton. Sweet boy. Sweet babe boy. You, you can't get out of this. Randall seems like that dude who's like, we're gonna do something, right? And you're like, I don't wanna. We're gonna do it, right? And he just gets in your face and he's just, you're just like, all right, fine. He's like, yes, I knew I could have you come with me. You can't deny your destiny. And you're just like, you're telling me to go with you. But, but it's your destiny, so. He's like that kind of dude. Lovable, but also pushy. Randall's fencing skills are improving. I'll need some practice for our next match. Perhaps I'll do a research on fencing techniques before dinner, bro. Why does that sound so cheesy? But I understand that. I understand that, but it sounds so cheesy. Like, I'll research fencing techniques before dinner. <laughs> that sounds so dorky, and I love it. Like, I understand that wholeheartedly. It's just funny. To me. Just to me, it's very funny. I don't know. I'm that weirdo. Alright, let's go inside. Let's go in. Let's go in. Hello, mother. I'm home. Herschel, dear. Thank goodness you're here. Could you come here for a moment? What is it? Is something wrong? Uh-oh. Is our mother in trouble? Mom. Oh, we can zoom. Oh, dear. There's a zoom. These are nice little photos. All I know is that it was taken by someone buddy famous. Hmm. These documents look boring. Oh, wow, Herschel. Oh. Hello, ma'am. Oh, she's very panicky. Oh, dear. Oh, sorry, Mom, hold up, I got a puzzle. <laughs> I've been watching the Apollo Justice trailer again because of the pirate song. The pirate song is fantastic. I'm just glad I'm fi we're finally able to play those games again because, man, I've missed them. I've missed them so much. 
The owner of a juice factory wants to send a gift to three important customers to make sure no one is offended. They're all given 18 bottles of ju liters of juice, but they weren't all the same each bottle size in the shipment to make the shipments identical. Still, the owner was able to make three shipments of 18 bottles of different sizes of small, medium, and bo large bottles. Okay. So, three... Alright, so there's four medium bottles and six small bottles. 18 liters. Yeah, that's a lot of- that's a lot of juice. Juice in quotes, but okay. So, six bottles. Alright, so, let's see. So, these can knock down to this. Well, actually, these can cancel out entirely. So, two medium bottles equal one. So, two... Um, what up? 2M equals 1L. Funky juice, indeed. So if 2M equals 1L, let's just say that for now. Um, there's still three here. Um, there's still three here. Hmm. <laughs> This is the weirder one, so let's, um... So 2M equals 3L. Two medium bottles equals one big bottle. So we've got six small bottles, six small bottles, four. So we can count these out. Hmm. So then, we got <clears throat> one big bottle, which equals this. Then, three small bottles. Three small bottles equals up. But then, I'm guessing that it's three small equals one medium. That would be my guess, but I don't get- hold up. Because it's three. Yeah, so this equals two. This already equals two, and then one, two, three. Yeah, so three small bottles equals one medium bottle, and one two medium bottles equals one big bottle. So So then let's say for um we'll erase this this one will be probably easier. So it's um four M plus six S. So then, which equals... Oh god, I have to do this type of math. Great! Great! Oh, I have to do this type of math. Love this. So this is 4m equal plus 6s equals... Actually, like that. Oh, I can only go so far back? Dang you. Alright, only so far back is fine. So plus 6s equals... 18. So then, let's- we know that six of these- so we know that three of these equals one, which would mean- so 12s plus 6s, so s equals one, then that means m equals three, and then 2m equals 1l, and then L equals six. So let's see. Six, um, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Three, six, nine, twelve, eighteen. Six, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Okay. All right. So then one, three, six. Bingo. I think this may be it. Three. Math, the baby. Looks as if I got it. Math, let's go. Large bottle holds six lit six liters. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of drink. That's a lot of juice. No shit. Jesus Christ. I can't decide which juice is my favorite. Well, as we were debating our math skills, our mother was panicking. So let's uh, help our dear old mum as we continue to search for money. <laughs> so 
Sorry, Bob. Hold up. We're finding money. Hold up. There we go. Hi, Mom. I can help you now. Oh, Herschel, your father. He's... he's... Mother, please, just hold still for a moment and tell me what happened. <laughs> Do we steal her money exactly? He's gone, Herschel. Some strange men said they wanted to see you and then they just took your father away. Your father said they were friends of his, but I've never seen them before. You look so nervous, Herschel. How worse it's could have taken your father? Mother, let's not jump to any conclusions. I'll go look for him. Oh, thank you, Herschel. I'll stay here in case he calls. Don't worry, Mother. I'm sure he's fine. I shall return presently. Do be careful. If anything happens, just cry out the thoughts you can. I'll be listening. I certainly hope it won't come to that. Mother is just panicked. Pure panic. Oh, but I didn't mean to do that. Have you found your father yet? The phone's been completely silent. <laughs> Mother is terrified of everything, Jesus. Alright, so search for the dad. So, where could he be? Father is probably just chatting over at Pebble Lane with his friends. Alright, let's go to Pebble Lane, baby. Let's go! Alright. Let's investigate here. We've got a mat. We got an old miss over there. Oop. Nice. Two of them right close to each other. That's fun. That's three, which is good. Oh. Oh. Oh, there was more. Oh no. There's so many more now. I think that's good. Alright, let's go. Esther. Oh, Herschel, my boy, where are you going? I'm looking for my father, actually. Have you seen him by any chance? No, I haven't seen Roland, sorry. Lucia must be so worried. I'm sure everything is fine, though. You're a good son, Herschel. Before you leave, can I trouble you to help out an old lady for a moment? <laughs> old woman puzzle. These are ladybugs on this corn cob bar. But you should take a look. Ladybugs on this corn cob. Oh! Wee! That's cute! Look at them! Two ladybug friends, one red and one blue, have lost. Oh no! We have to help the ladybug! Oh! He's so cute! Okay, I can't go this way. Oh! <laughs> I'm coming! My friend! I'm coming! I'm on my way! Wrong way. Eh. <laughs> this is so cute! Wait! Can I have a ladybug friend like this? Come on. Oh no! Wrong way. Dang. What if I go up then? It's a maze and it rolls. Not this way. This way? Wait. Wait. I see him. I see him. Friend! Hello! I'm not oh, certain. Oh, that's so cute. I love that one. Heck yeah. Did I get it? Did I get it? No. Worth. Friend! A corn cob must be an impenetrable maze. It must be. But look at them. They're so happy. Oh, it's called spinning maze. Haha. <laughs> that's very funny. Thank you, Herschel. Now I can eat my corn in peace. And that's really what an, that's really all an old lady wants. If I see Roland, or she'll, I'll be sure to mention you're looking for him. Thank you, Esther. You be, you be sure not to go running around with any scissors, Herschel. Wait, they could fly all along. <laughs> Maybe they could, but they wanted to. They wanted to crawl. They wanted to crawl into their friends. to crawl and see their friends. That's the thing. Oh! Hello there, Henry. Herschel. Out shopping, are you? I am procuring the week's groceries for the household, yes. I see. Do you need any help? I can manage fine, thank you. And where are you, where are you off to, if I may ask? Oh, I'm looking for my father. You haven't seen him, have you? 
No, I'm afraid I haven't. I'm sorry I cannot be of any assistance. No apologies necessary, Henry. Well then. Oh. I suppose I'll be on my way then. Yes, and I as well. I wish you luck. Very awkward. Very awkward. My boy is like... What do I say? And Herschel's like, what do I say? I want to be nice, but you don't speak. Another puzzle. Nino! Oh, I like this guy. Hello there, Herschel. Looking well, my boy. Good evening, Lino. I saw that scrawny friend of yours, Henry, shopping for the Ascots. Sure make a pull his weight. What little of it there is. <laughs> could never be a servant like him. I'm too independent. Mother told me to fix her garden wall and I'm doing it all by myself. Okay, a line, nine red bricks. Lionel's contemplating a row of nine bricks for his mother's garden. Two adjacent bricks are heavier than the rest, but he can't remember which. So lift them one by one, but to save time, but to save time, his lift can work out the maximum number he needs to lift to find the two heaviest. Two adjacent bricks in the row. Hmm. Two adjacent bricks. So he doesn't have to lift up all nine because he'll know after at most eight. And then seven, he could know pretty easily because, hmm. Let me think. There's nine bricks, so if it's like this, so let's say these two match up. If this doesn't feel heavy, and this doesn't feel heavy, then you know this isn't heavy. If this doesn't feel heavy, if like this doesn't feel heavy, and this doesn't feel heavy, you know this isn't heavy. And if you feel this one, this one, you won't feel it. So I think maybe six? I would say six? Six or seven? Hmm. 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 Six or seven? That's the question. Six or seven, tis the question. Six or seven, tis the question. I gotta know and see the show. Mm -hmm. six or seven. I can't choose between them because it's like, if you pick... Did you see the Layton movie? We did see the Layton movie. We saw we saw the, um... Eternal Diva movie, so we saw for that one. Um, that's a very good one. I suggest you go play that, because it's really good. Um, actually, if we think... It doesn't have to be six or seven, because he lifts this one. He feels nothing. This one matches... Actually, he doesn't have to lift that many. It'd probably be like four, because then he could just go two, four, six, eight, and if, say, um... He can lift the neighboring work. Yeah, okay. Apparently, Catriel is a I'm Japanese sure anime. To... I did not know that. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Did I get it? That'd be interesting. If none of the bricks are heavier, then simply look nine. It is subbed, though. That's fair. I don't mind subbed anime. It's really good. Oh, right, clever. Thanks. Feels good to get things done on my own. Happy to help. Good luck with the wall. 
I've no luck, only know how. Know how, as in knowledge, not know how, as in not being able to do something, that is. My guy, just. just take the help. You needed it. As long as I can understand it, exactly. Fluorescent honey. Sounds quite delicious. Also, very weird, like fluorescent honey. Mother sneaks vegetables into everything. He's like, Mom, stop it. I eat too many vegetables. Money? Money? What other monies can we find? I know that guy, but... Money? All right, help. Where could father have gone? I'm starting to get a little worried. Ahoy there, Herschel. Why the worry? Have you seen my father, Doug? Roland? No, can't say I have. While you're here, Herschel, my lad, how about a hand on this puzzle, huh? True. Oh, uh-oh. A lick of paint. Uh-oh. The prospective tenants in this row have unusual requirements. I want to live next to a red house. No blue neighbors, please. Oh, and a house on the end is out of the question. Two neighbors down doors and no color the same as us. I'm fine with anything as long as, long as not blue or red. No house on the end. And no blue neighbors. Hmm. Two doors down from a yellow house, and no color the same as us. I want to live next to a red house. Hmm. I'm fine with any color as long as it's not blue or red. No blue papers. Alright, so. We've got- let me pull this back up again. There we go. Thank you. So, we've got one who wants to live next to a red house. Um... No blue neighbors. And one without the question. So, number two wants either this house or this house. And doesn't want a blue neighbor. So, has to figure something with this. Two doors down from a yellow house. And three wants to be unique. So, three wants to be only one color, and... Hmm. <laughs> Can you just paint one house? No blue neighbors, not of the question. Two doors and no color the same as us. I'm fine with any color as long as it's not yellow or not as not blue. So four has to be in a yellow house. Four has to be in a yellow house. Four has to be in a yellow house. Um blue wants to be in a middle house with no blue neighbors so it's like this one might have to change two orders down from a yellow house and no neighbor no neighbors the same as us oh i'm fine with any color as long as it's not um red or blue oof <laughs> cuz we can put, um, we can put four at an end house, because then we can, like, put, change one of these colors, I think. Because if we do this, live next to a red house, it could be either this one or this one. No blue neighbors, so it could be, um, no blue neighbors, 
Oh, and house on an, the end is out of the question. Um, two doors from a yellow house, so it could be this one or this one, and no color the same as us, so these are perfect. I'm fine with any color. So we could have one. Um, oh, wait, that makes sense. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Hold up, put up, put up, put up. Um, because then let's say we, uh, I was thinking about this so weirdly. Okay, because then we can have one live here. He lives next to the red house. Four lives here because they're away. They don't have the color. Um, three can live here and no one is this color. And then two is here because no one else is blue. No one else is the blue neighbor because they're the blue neighbor. Aha! I'm not certain. I see. I see. Did I get it? I see. I see! Right, most. Never mind the cost of labor. They might charge all four of them for the time it took to thousand They're their biggest enemy? Exactly! They're their biggest ego. You are truly your father's son. By the way, what did you say you were up to? Father left the house earlier. I, mother sent me to go look for him. Lucille's worried, eh? That's a new one. Well, if I see Roland, I'll let him know. Thank you, Doug. Time to head into the woods. <gasps> we go into the spooky woods. Spooky woods. Let's go. Oh, hello. Hello. Fever lamp. Bunnies? Bunnies? That's where the UK version he calls him Uncle Doug. Oh! Interesting. I know there's always some differences in the UK version because it's like, that's Britain. That's Britlantis. So therefore, there's going to be some changes. But it's always interesting. So he's an uncle in that version, huh? Father, there you are. Hi, hello, Herschel. And yes, here I am. What are you so riled up about? Mother said you were dragged away by a group of strangers. She's practically beside herself. Oh, your mother worries about the rising and setting of the sun. I told her there's, those were some old friends. She didn't seem to think they were friends of yours. She also said they were actually looking for me. Oh, you were a baby when they last saw you. They wanted to see you all grown up. And, well, as you can see, I escaped certain doom at the hands of my old mates. The case of the disappearing father is solved. But what are you doing out here? All my mates wanted to see the Norwell Wall. If you don't know what you're looking for, it's not an easy thing to find. So they were sightseeing out here. I know it may seem hard to believe, but back when the wall was first discovered, tourists streamed into our little town. Came in droves all year round, day and night, just to see the Norwell Wall. You can hardly imagine Little Stansbury being any sort of tourist attraction. Well, it was quite a surge of interest in archaeology here. Scholars and researchers even started to move into town. They were hoping to decipher the wall, the writing on the wall. Some folks even believe it held secrets to an unknown civilization. You're starting to sound like Randall. Yes, your friend Randall is rather charming and well-spoken, isn't he? Very intelligent, too. <laughs> Let's be off. We keep your mother waiting any longer. We'll have to peel her off the ceiling with a gardening rake. Oh, God. All right. Well, Jesus Christ. That's a morbid thought. Is that... That's how much she worries. Don't this exists in the U.S., but uncle or aunt is, can be an endearing term for someone... Older than you, if you've known them long enough, generally from a child. Oh, so like a family friend. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. No, we don't have something like that. I don't think. I mean, probably people are like grandfather. Like, you know, this is my uncle, but you know, they're not like related to me. But I don't really remember seeing stuff like that. That's cool, though. Good to know. So in that version, he knows... Um, he knows him for long enough. Huh. Cool. Mother, guess who I found? 
Sorry to make you worry, Lucille, but didn't I tell you those gents were friends of mine and not to fret? Oh, I didn't know you'd be gone all day, did I? You just disappeared. My work here is done. If you'll excuse me, I'll be up in my room. In the womb. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, we got... We got my bed. But I get a good night's rest. He'd love to travel the world someday. I suppose I should do some studying. Old oh, Cranky Collins may be planning to spring something on us tomorrow. Hmm. No. Randall was so worked up today. Even more so than usual. He seems quite sure about this treasure he's talking about. Come to think of it, him and Dawson were arguing about deciphering some old map the other day. Randall did never tell me what this was about. Maybe he's on to something. Wow, Randall must really be getting to me. Still, it would be really something to discover something if we discovered an ancient artifact. Herschel, dinner's ready! Well, there will be plenty of time to daydream later on. Thank you, Cloudy. I will drink the water. And. Ooh! I cracked the back. Thank you. Thank you. I needed it. Ooh. Well, I learned a thing or two about fencing from Randall today. Have they decided yet which one of you will be going to the tournament? No, but there won't be much of a choice if I have anything to say about it. Finish your gro grody pudding, dear. It'll give you extra strength for partying. It's parrying, mother. And no, thank you. I actually have to get going. You sure, son? There might not be any left once I get to it. That's quite alright. I told Randall I'd meet him after dinner. May I be excused? A bit late for parrying, is <laughs> it? <laughs> yes, we'll just be studying, mother. Well, don't stay out too late. We've had enough drama with missing persons today. Dinner was delicious. See you later. Small little touches like stuff is that that is pretty interesting. Hey, it's Doug! It's Doug! Hey, Bubble! Doug! Your father run off again, Herschel? <laughs> no, Doug. Hello, Doug. No, I'm just going to my friend Randall's house. Oh, what's that scamp plotting now? You be sure to keep him out of trouble. If anything happens to that boy, we'll follow his father will have the whole town in an uproar. Don't worry, Doug. We're just studying. Did Mr. Ascot kick you out of his house already? <laughs> Try not to antagonize the man, Herschel. That was an isolated incident. Good night. <laughs> He's like, don't say, don't say nothing. Shush. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, hello, mister. Out for a late night constitutional, Layton. Good evening, Mr. Collins. What are you doing lurking around school at this hour? Don't you have an essay you could be writing? Ah, the essay. Yes, it's coming along. Well, almost. Mostly, sir. <laughs> well, then you'll be fully prepared for this puzzle, I assume. My man's like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. Maybe. Possibly. I hope. Brave the caves. Oh dear. Okay. The young explorer must go from point one to point five. Doing so, he must pass correctly through four caves. Through four caves. The wrong caves could be filled with horrible traps. He has four photos with him. A to D. Taken by an explorer who made it through successfully. Work through the correct correct route. All right, okay. So we know five, so B is um, last because the flowers. So I think that one, because that's the curve. So then, um, this one has, to, A has to be this one. And so we're going this way.
This one has to be... Hmm. Okay, wait. So then... Hmm. Maybe? It can't be- C can't- D can't be this one, so C has to be it. And... I think it would be this. So then... have to be that one because this has to be D and it would probably show these caves or these caves I think it's this I think this may be it Two, three Hooray's! Woo! looks as if I got it nice you can see where they're taken exactly it seems like you've done your work after all yes thank you sir don't say out too late. A rested mind is a spongy mind. I mean, it soaks up facts and knowledge. Not that it resembles cake. I'll remember that, sir. People have made brain cakes before for some reason. It's very funny. Oh, hello. Quite curious to find out what scheme Randall has cooked up this time. <laughs> oh, hearing the term cook from this game. Scheme that he has cooked up. Oh my god. I read that right, right? Oh goodness, that's that all okay. I'm still good. I'm also curious as to what Dalson is doing here. Yeah, Dalson, what you doing? Bit late for a stroll, eh, Leighton? Let him cook, let him cook. Like Randall, what are you cooking? Something delicious, I hope. I could say the same to you, Dalston. Do your parents even know you're out? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Who cares? I go where I like, when I like. Eh, hey, just tell Angela. Your fossil, little fossil fan club is doing to the dig dirt, dirt digging party. You're a smart guy, Layton. What does La Angela see in Randall? I mean, he's only, only the second richest kid in town. Uh, well, well, I'm not sure that I follow you, Dalston. Right. What about you? Don't you get tired of always following Brat Scott's loony plans? Well, I'm not as excited about archaeology as Randall is, but we always have fun. He's good at talking, that's for sure. Never shuts up. But aren't we getting a bit old for childish adventures? I wouldn't say that, Dalston. I mean, we're still teenagers. Still teenagers? I mean, we're already teenagers. You want to spend your life worrying about bits of paper like this? Presents a puzzle to me, sir. Oh, you cheeky me. Oh, I already see this. Dawson proposed a math problem. It's a worksheet home with 20 several pieces. Hold up. I know what this is. Oh. Cheeky little shit. I see you. Here goes. Asshole. Asshole. Puzzles can be quite fun. They can be. Cheeky. 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 Yeah, I figured you were just as puzzle crazy as Ascot. You're a lost cause, Layton. You and Angela both. Have fun with your little games. I can't wait till we're hotel owners so I can laugh at you from a posh Swede. Hey, you, I hate your friend. Do my homework for me, please. Cheeks, I say, indeed. 
Cheeks, he's very cheeky. He wants me to do his homework. The guy is our age, and he's already working for someone else. Shame. Every doesn't seem to mind. It's honest work. I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> well, nobody's gonna be the boss of me, and I'll tell you that. Especially not anyone in the Brat Scott family. You sound awfully bitter, Dalston. If you'd like to join Randall, Angela, and me sometime, you could just ask. Anyway, I should go. See you tomorrow. They are so... He's such a bad bully character because they're like, he's like trying to be rude and they're like, you know you could just have fun with us. Anyway, goodbye. Like, bruh. Oh, Herschel. Hmm? Angela, perfect timing. Beautiful night, isn't it? Yes, it is. Randall seems to be quite single-minded lately. Yeah, that's Randall. I think his enthusiasm is one of the reasons I admire him. I suppose. But that passion makes him easily excitable. Mm -hmm. You know, you're very good for him. You keep him balanced. Is balanced the same as boring? Uh, no. Randall's lucky. We're both looking out for him. Oh. Yes, he is lucky, isn't he? He's got a kind girlfriend who's concerned about his well-being and a loyal best friend. Oh. Ah. <laughs> You'll always look out for him, won't you, Herschel? Promise me. Yes. I promise. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a... That's an oof. Hello, Henry. Mm. <laughs> that's an oof. We have, we have sad times, don't we? Oh, we have her with us. That's cute. She's just part of us. She's part of the group. Angela. I slipped here earlier. I should be more careful. You should, Layton. Be careful. You have a lady with you. Let's be careful for the lady. Oh, my God. I'd rather avoid Mr. Ascot if at all possible. Good idea, Herschel. You wouldn't want to repeat occurrence of last time. <laughs> it's, well... I mean, before we hide from Mr. Ascot, I could, uh, I'll go for some money. Thank you. Um, Jesus Christ, what's with these rich people? Rich people I will never understand in my life. Like, what is this? What is this? What is this, like, four-story house? No, sorry, three story, but Jesus Christ. That's, that's crazy to me. That's crazy. Oh my god. Um, can't use the door. Herschel, no, if we go to the front door, Mr. Ascot might see us. Good point. Last time he caught us, he wasn't too pleased, was he? Please? No. Bird is a sunbird beat? Definitely. Let's try the window. Angie. Oh, he was Angie. Up there? That's three stories! The ivy on the wall is really the VIP entrance to Randall's room, isn't it? I could count the number of times I used the front door here on one hand. With three fingers. Randall's father isn't that bad, you know. He's just... strict. Very strict. I know, let's give Randall the signal. Would you do the honors, Herschel? Ooh. Ring the bell and signal. Set the order in slingshots. Oh, okay. Can I retry this? Or is it like... Hmm. Or is it just like one and done? I don't think it's like one and done, but... Oh, I have to do it. Like, you know what? Let's do a random order. Let's see what happens. Oh, almost. Okay, okay, I see. So let's do... What happens? So... Alright, so we need this one to go last. So... Alright. So we need something to break that one then.
Hey, there we go. Nice. Here goes. Bam. Puzzles can be quite fun. They can be. A and B. Hopefully Randall heard it. I mean, I would hope, considering he made this mechanism. Nice. Always a satisfying shot. Let's go. Randall? We're here. Now what's the big surprise? What took you so long? Glaciers formed while I was waited. Did you have to protect Angela from some evil dangers along the way, Herschel? I am bound to say the lady didn't require my aid, though I would have gladly provided it had the need arise arisen. Always the perfect gentleman, eh, Herschel? Chivalry is dead. You know that, right? I like to think that it's just... hibernating. <laughs> so what is it you're so worked up about? Yes, Randall, what is it? I can't stay out too, lo too late tonight, you know? Patience, my friends! Some things require a bit of presentation! Ooh, so he's a fancy man. Hmm? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Is that the Mask of Chaos? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Sir. Okay? The thing that's causing terror 18 years l Okay, bro. The Mask of Chaos. The one and only? This is what Donald Rutledge wrote about in ancient histories. I found it! Don't be absurd, Randall. That's not real. How could it be? I assure you, Angela, this is absolutely 100% the genuine article. According to Rutledge, the legend says, he who holds the Mask of Chaos may make all that he wish, all that which he desires. That's a phrase. That sounds nice. I don't believe a word of it, of course. It's just ancient superstition. But upon examining the mask, I made my own discovery. Something Rutledge didn't mention. Exactly. The mask may not grant wishes literally. However, it can perform at least one incredible miracle. It holds the key to an unimaginable fortune. Treasures beyond our dreams. I can crack the puzzle of the mask. It will lead me straight to unknown riches. Well... Say something! Aren't you ready for a true archaeological expedition? Um, not quite. Randall, how do you know this is the real mask? Did you get it? Both fair questions, my dear Herschel. It wasn't easy. I had to crack a devilish puzzle to get my hands on the mask. Puzzle? What puzzle? We go back in time! Take a look at this. Behold! Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> he's the I meme. Don't understand. Oh my god, he's the meme. He's the guy. He's the meme. He's the meme. We made the trip to Monte Dor <laughs> to investigate the mask of I chaos. need an image of I need an image of Brandon as the guy the with the sight. string with who's like trying to explain the conspiracy board. <laughs> I need an image of that right now. <laughs> we met Angela Lador, an old like friend of the professor. Right now, like you guys see, we also learned see of a tragic event in Professor Layton's past. <laughs> oh my goodness! I didn't get much sleep that night, but the sunrise was quite beautiful. Oh my god. Alright, yay, we can save. Save, baby. The battle for Monte Dor. Ooh. Ooh, there's a brawl. Hello. Sadly, though, this is gonna be the end of stream because it's been over 30 hours. So we'll stop right here. I'm going to, uh... Hold up, let me... A battle already, indeed. Um, let's see. How can I? There we go. Stop it. Cutscene. No more cutscene. I'm sorry. We going back to normal. So. Oh man, but dang, we got a lot done. Three hours and thirty minutes of Professor Layton. I'm so glad to be playing this game. 
already we've had action we've had shenanigans it's been insane but i'm vibe music indeed it is professor layton's theme from Mewmore who remixed it very good music but anyway thank you all so much for those who came by it has been great to meet some new faces some old faces it's always great um if you wish uh if you want to have some more shenanigans we have a discord join us in the discord we always have fun here you know sometimes we do movie days i've been meaning to like see what other movies we could do but i think that would be very fun you know we could all vibe and have good times and show off all the cool stuff so we've got a couple things we could go for um we're gonna go raid somebody right now but i don't know who we should raid do any of you guys have suggestions to who we should raid? Because we love to raid over here. I like to send people- I like to send my chat to other people because it's always fun to see, you know, uh, who else is streaming but also support everyone, so. Oh wait, I have an idea. I think I might go stream Nero. Nero is a very fel very great fellow streamer. She's fantastic. So I would suggest we could go there. Let's go to Nero, baby. Let me see. There we go. We'll go straight check out Nero. Nero's having fun. I think it'll be good. Yeah. All right. Thank you all yeah, so much for coming by. It's been fantastic meeting new faces and seeing so many people. Thank you all for coming for Professor Layton. If you'd like to join in the raid, here is the raid message. And if you have subscribed, here is the sub raid message. Tomorrow, we will be playing more of Super Mario RPG and finishing off the DLC for then. And then we'll be, I need to figure out something for Saturday, but soon we'll be having fun. Thank you all so much for coming. I'm so happy. We had so much fun, man. I, I had so much fun. And I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Thank you all for coming. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.